<clears throat> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Season 35 Miners World Series. I, myself, am Bauer, the walking meme, as my co-host would say. Mr. Scud, how you doing, Scud? Well, I'm doing peachy. How you doing, Bauer? A uh, bit nervous hosting my first uh, World Series. Uh, I've co-hosted several Majors World Series, but I've never hosted, so I'm going to figure out how to deal with all the changes and everything, but uh, we'll, we'll get through it. Uh, yeah. I don't believe, do we have any prediction or anything? Cause if not, we're just going to hop right into this first game, get things moving. Yeah, no. Uh, no, no. We don't have any lineup changes for the first game. All of that was done overnight. And, uh, I don't think <laughs> prediction game will be played. Indeed gold. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess we'll go ahead and pay that out. <laughs> Uh, but all right, oh, well, uh, wait, we'll was just... the prediction still up from the previous stream? Is it? You said pay it out. I thought I thought Gold said there was a previous prediction I have no still idea. up. No, no, he just said the game will be played. Uh, uh, yes. All right, uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and get things started here in game one. Then uh, I'm gonna do my typical way of calling games, where we each have a team, we switch off every half inning. Uh, I'm going with the Dillos for the entire series as Scud was GM of the Firehawks for exactly one season. So he's a bit... One season. Yeah, one season. I have, I have preference. <laughs> I have bias. There's, uh, oh, no I forget we there. watch all four games. Oh, <laughs> Oh, are you saying it's a sweep? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, oh. whoa, whoa, look at okay. you. Whoa. <laughs> bit what early to be? call that. <laughs> But all right, no, so yeah, I forgot we watched every single game. Yeah, we watched, <laughs> it was we watched like all seven if we have to. Uh, all right, so Let's on the it. mound here for the Firehawks is going to be Achior Hippocrates. I believe that's how you say it. And nope. Gurun Voodoo. Well, that's how I'm going to say it. Okay. <laughs> Gurun Voodoo just... is on the mound for the Dillos. And first up will be the Firehawks. So it will be Scud taking it. Here we go. We'd love to see it. Love to see it. All right. Oh, wait. Hold on. We need to get rid of the out-of-town <clears throat> scoreboard. Yeah, I don't really think it's going to be... Please tell me it paused. Nope, French Fry is going to start us off before we can fix anything with a fly out to right field. No, stop. And okay. we paused. There we go. There we go. Yay. Now we can see the whole field, and it's wonderful. All right. And then Dan King Jr. is going to strike out to follow it up for the second out wait, my, of the inning. My, my players are tiny now. Tiny players, big balls. That's that's what it was. All right, now <laughs> now we are finally ready to go. <laughs> now we have big players, big balls. All right, Sam and Arms will fly out to left field, and that'll be a three pitch or not three pitch. Boo. <laughs> three <laughs> three pitch. for Guru and Boot as we head down to the bottom of the first. We're starting off hot today. The most unprofessional <laughs> Miners World Series you will ever get. We got D. Namate, Namate is going to lead this off with a single over in the left field. So we got our first hit of the ball game. Now we got Hector Salamaca. That's deep into center field. And that will be caught right in front of the warning track for the first out. Now we've got the other Salamanca, Lalo. And that's going to be up the middle. And that'll drop down for a single. Runner thinks about going to third, but thinks otherwise. Two on, one out for Marcellus Clay, who's going to take a walk. And now we have one out. Bases loaded for the number five hitter, John Garfield. And Garfield's going to hit one in the left field. And we already have runs here in this World Series. It's going to be a 2 nothing lead here early for the Dillos. Those RBIs coming from Garfield with the bases loaded. We still only have the one out. And we have a wild pitch that'll oh. move both runners into scoring position for Blue Sky, who takes a walk. So the bases are loaded all over again. Care Bear up now. Care Bear is going to check his swing, and it's strike three called anyways. That'll bring up number eight hitter Alvarez. That's deep to left field. That will strand Phew. all three of those runners on base. But the Dillos do take a 2 nothing lead early. Oh, it's over. All right, here we go. Dunstan <laughs> is going to fly out to the left field to start us off in the top of the second, bringing up Arthur out Morgan. And he will ground out to the first first base. He throws it over to the pitcher. 3-1 put out. And Brennan's going to get the first base hit here for the Firehawks. Two outs in the top of the second. And that'll bring up Gladdy Verrero. It's a fly ball into the right center gap, but that will be caught for the third out. 
by the right fielder, Dinamite, and we head down to the bottom of the second. Shout out to Vichy for the sub, their six-month six month streak. Uh, we got J.D. Martinez, who's going to ground out to the third baseman. That will be the first out. Namate is going to hit one in the center field, and that's caught for the second out. The first of two Salamancas, and that's going to be in the right field, and that'll be a 1-2-3 inning, so much less offensive production here from the Dillos in the bottom of the second. Bless up. All right, let's go. <laughs> Long ball, a one, and that is a, ooh, and the first extra base hit of the ball game. We'll go to long ball in the eight hole there. We double all the way to left field, bringing up the nine hole DH Ren Foster, 2-2 two -two count. And there's a ground ball to the second baseman. We'll move the runner over, over to third, but there is one out. Runner at third, French fry with base hit up the middle, and California is on the board here in the top of the third off that RBI single, bringing up Dan King Jr., and French Fry will take off. I'm not surprised, Ooh. but I am surprised that Fry gets thrown out. Looks like Dan King Jr. will take the walk here, so we could have had runners at first and second regardless. Bringing up Salmon Arms, who hits a line drive all the way to the center field wall. Looks to score at least one. He will slide in for a double. And that we are now tied. Two runs, three... Oh, I was wrong. I thought we had three hits, but nope. Okay. Uh, Tunch Dentro is going to fly out to center field to end the inning, but California does even up the score here with that two-run third inning. We head down to the bottom of the third. It is a brand-new ball game here, and Salamanca is going to lead it off here, hitting 500 in the playoffs, but it's going to be a leadoff walk. Clay up now going to check their swing, and that's going to be strike three called. Apparently went around. Now we got John Garfield. Had those two RBIs to give them the lead early, but is going to ground out into a double play and stun that inning. And we head to is the top half of the fourth. Is that a double play in the minor leagues? I'm, yeah. I'm shocked. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> I know. And Arthur Morgan will strike out to start us off here in the top of the fourth. It's a 0 0 ball game, technically. And Danny Brennan over here will line out to center field, bringing up Gladdy Verrero. It's a fly ball. Center fielder runs all the way back just before the track and will make the catch for the third out of the inning. Still tied at two apiece, heading down to the bottom of the fourth. All right, leading it off is going to be the number six hitter, Zodiac Blue Sky, who's going to strike out. It's going to be the only third strikeout from, I guess, Hypocrites. H-O or Hypocrites. Nice. <laughs> Care Bear is going to line one right past the shortstop for a one-out single. Now we have Cali Alvarez up, the DH, and that's into center field, but will be caught. Stayed up just a little too long in the air. Now we got J.D. Martinez as Bear takes off for second and is thrown Good out God. by an absolute mile. Not sure why they were trying there, but that is the Can third out of the inning. Can we get a pop time on that? Can we get a pop time on that? <laughs> for real. Good Lord. And long ball is going to lead us off here with a ground ball over to the shortstop thrown over. Out number one is made, bringing up Ren Foster. It's a ground ball through the hole in the right side of the infield. It'll be a one-out single for Foster, bringing up French Fry. And that looks to be a base hit up the middle. They send Foster over to third, and that'll be runners at the corner. One out for Dan King Jr., who's going to hit a line drive up the middle, and that'll break the tie as that'll put – and they'll just trade places. Runners at the corners here at California up 3-2 to two with the three-hole. Rusty Salmon Arms up, Oof. and Salmon Arms will strike out. So two outs in the inning for the four-hole Tunch Denstro, and he'll take the four-pitch walk, bringing up the five-hole Arthur Morgan. And we do have a pitching change as Zach Taylor came in for Gurren Voodoo here in the fifth inning. And Arthur Morgan will ground out to the first baseman, and that'll end the inning. But California does take the lead 3-2. to two. Taylor's already into their bullpen. That is not great, especially in game one. Martinez is going to hit one super deep. That almost left the ballpark, but it's caught right in front of the warning track. Then Namate is going to look at strike three. Uh, Hector Salamanca up now. And Salamanca's going to hit one right over the second baseman's head. That'll drop down for a two-out single. And we'll see if the other Salamanca can do anything with it. And that's a ground ball to the shortstop. Ooh. Nice play to gun it over to first base. And that will end looking that like, inning. Looking like O'Neal Cruz there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Throwing a 300 miles per hour to first base. Oh, yeah. No, just casual. 
Danny Brennan's going to hit a oh. base hit up just underneath the glove of the second baseman. And it'll bring up Vladdy Varela, the shortstop, who will just look at that and for strike three, bringing up long ball. He's going to hit a pop fly to the second baseman. You know what I've noticed is that they never have, you know, infield fly rules in this yeah, game. Yeah. I've I, never seen it. They just call it why. They just call it pop outs. It's, yeah, really weird. Uh, shout out to but, the doggo there. Love it. Yes. <laughs> Barking at the vacuum cleaner. Love it. <laughs> Marcellus Clay is going to lead off this bottom half of the sixth with a ground out to the shortstop. John Garfield, that's a liner to left field, Ooh, and it's a diving a catch play. to save probably extra bases there. Blue Sky is going to get on base here with a. A little pop fly in the center field that drops right in front of the center fielder. Care Bear up now. That's to center field again, and that'll drop down. So we got runners Ooh. on first and second now. Two outs for Alvarez. And Alvarez is going to hit one over to the, to the first baseman, and it's going to be caught and strand those two runners. Yet again, That's leaving bad. those runners on base. It is still 3-2. to two. Here we go. Top of the lineup, top of the seventh. Just what the California Firehawks want to see, but they don't want to see that that fly out to center field from the first out. New pitcher. Oh, nope, never mind. Sorry, it looked like a new pitcher. But Dan King will fly out to left field, bringing up Salmon Arms. 0-2 count, and that's a strikeout. So, Sad. Not, not a very... <laughs> <laughs> not, not a, a great climatic. No. Uh, Marstinez is going to ground out to the second baseman here. That'll bring it back to the top of the order. Namate is going to ground out to the third baseman. So two outs here for Hector Salamanca. Salamanca, that's the right field and hit 500 miles an hour right at the right fielder. And that'll be a pretty loud third out for a 1-2-3 inning. All right. Touched in stroke at the plate. Starts us off on the first pitch with a fly out to right field, bringing up Arthur Morgan. Arthur Morgan will hit a fly ball going towards deep center field, but that will be caught for the second out of the inning, bringing up Danny Brennan, the left fielder, who will take the full count walk. Great eye there at the play, bringing up the shortstop, Gladi Verrero, 2-2 two -two count, and he will strike out. So still up 3-2. to two. We'll see if their bullpen can hold it down from here. As Dirk said, John Marston in the game now for the Firehawks. It's going to be Lalo Salamanca leading off this bottom half of the eighth with a strikeout. Marcel is clay up now. That's to left field and caught by the left fielder. A lot of hard hit balls by the Dillas, but right at people. And right as I say, a lot of hard hit balls. Garfield's going to strike out swinging. That will be yet another 1-2-3 inning. All right, top of the ninth. We have a ground ball over to third diving play, but that, that was unnecessary. Be single. Yeah, very unnecessary, <laughs> but that is an infield single. And then Ren Foster will pop out to the first baseman, pitcher covering the bag there for some reason. French Fry is going to hit a line drive single into left field. They don't send the runner, so if runners at first and second here for Dan King Jr., there's a fly ball. Center field straight away. They don't send the runner, so that'll just be a F8. Bringing up Salmon Arms, who gets a ground ball over the and they'll just throw it over to second for the fielder's choice. And the third out of the inning. So here we go. Three outs remaining to see if the Dillos can stay in this game. Last chance here for the Dillos. Dog Sama up to hit. And that's going to be a leadoff walk. Possibly some life here. That could tie it. We got Care Bear. As Sama's off for second and is going to be safe. So already in scoring position. Care Bear. That's going to move the runner over to third. But it is a ground out. Now all we need is a fly ball off the bat of Alvarez. New pitcher Johnny Whiplash in for the Firehawks. And that's a fly ball to center field. Will oh, they shallow, send Summer? He's going to be safe at home, and the Dillos have tied it in the bottom of the ninth. Just minor league things. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Martinez is going to take a walk. And that'll bring up the top of the order. Namate as Martinez takes off for second and is safe. Another runner here in scoring position. Namate oh is going to take a walk. That'll bring up the number two hitter, Salamanca. Already has one hit today, and that's into left oh. field, and that will be caught. And game number ball. one of the Miners World Series is going to extras. We love to see it. We love free baseball. Yeah. Oh. My God, that pitch looked like it was going to hit him, but he makes contact with it somehow. <laughs> and he'll pay for it, too, with the with the out there. Arthur Morgan will fly out to center field, bringing up the left fielder, Danny Brennan, who's going to hit a base Whoa. hit. Oh, and it's an error. 
why is he still why is he stopped he could have kept going <laughs> that'll be a single and an error and Gladi Verrero will take the intentional walk bringing up the eight hole long ball on one oh count hits a pop up to the third baseman for the third out of the inning so even despite the error no harm no foul and they'll bring it go down to the bottom of the 10th we got a chance for a walk off here Lelo Salamanca Whiplash still in the game for the Firehawks. That's going to be a ground out to the shortstop. And we have Marcellus Clay up. Clay is going to hit one right to the infield. Second baseman will come in and grab that one. John Garfield up now. Garfield is going to strike out, and we head to the 11th. More free baseball. We love it. Now we're 18 innings. <laughs> we're going to be calling Please 12 God, games, no. not seven. I uh, know. <laughs> oh, Ren Foster will ground out to the second baseman. Then French Fry will follow it up with ground ball of his own. Bring it up Dan King Jr., who will strike out with the full count. And we head down to the bottom of the 11th. The offenses are just in a stalemate at the moment. Dog Summa is going to ground out to the second baseman. Won't make that uh, Cinderella story back to the plate like he did to tie it up the game. Care Bear up now as Girk Biglet is in the pitch. <laughs> It's going to immediately give up the walk. Cali Alvarez up now as Bear takes off for second Ooh. and is thrown out for the second out. Now Cali Alvarez, it's Alvarez, it's not going to matter. Going to be a ground out to the pitcher, and we will go to the 12th inning. Let's go. Side jams in chat. And Sam and Arms is going to strike out on the 0-2 pitch for the first out of the top of the 12th, bringing up the four-hole punch Denstro. 3-0 count. Looking like a walk there. God, he could not find, could not get the pitch up. All four balls below the zone. Bringing up Arthur Morgan, full count. New pitcher Duke Smith in. Arthur Morgan's going to get a. Oh my what? Oh, he's gonna he's gonna move the runner over. Sacrifice ground out. Danny Brennan's going to get a ground ball to the second baseman, no. and they don't throw. So an infield single. Bringing up the shortstop Gladdy Verrero. Oh no! And he beat him. Wow. Oh no! This is the World Series. Let's see what long ball can do here. Oh, and that's oh, my. and they throw it over to the second. Oh, base is loaded. Oh, oh. that on base stat's gonna look gnarly at the end of this game. For both teams, it's gonna be both very teams, interesting. Yes. Yeah, Marstina is up now, number nine hitter for the Dillos, and that's gonna be strike three. Girk is killing Girk Biglet. That's such a cursed name. I hate it. Uh, D Namate. <laughs> Namate is gonna take a walk. That is a five-pitch walk. Girk dealing. Hector Salamanca up now, and that's in the right field. It's going to drop for a single. So we got runners on first and second here. Still only one out. Lalo Salamanca. That's in the left oh. field. That could bring the runner home. Throw home. And the that's Dillos are going to walk it off in game one, bottom of the 12th. Lalo Salamanca with a single into left field, bringing in that winning run. It is a 4-3 to three win. Firehawks, 12 hits, and just could not come up big when they really needed it. Uh, look at these left on base stats for both 23. teams. This is, uh, yeah, playoff baseball. That is not something that you want to see. Double digits for both teams <laughs> in the left on base. On the other hand, clutch pitching. Very good pitching <laughs> out of both them, teams, for indeed. For the most part. <laughs> uh, big games here. French Fry in the leadoff spot getting three hits and four hits from Brennan. Over in California, uh, the Dillo side, two hit days there from both Salamancas and Bear. Garfield getting that big two RBIs in the bottom half of the first. Pitching is where it gets interesting, and I can tell both teams are going to want a stamina check after this one. Uh, Marston's going to get that mm -hmm. hold. Whiplash is going to take a blown save. Girk Biglet takes the loss. Uh, Smith is going to get the W, only going that two-thirds of an inning. And uh, player of the game is HOR Hypocrites. <laughs> <laughs> Fan changes. Indeed, Dirk. I would love that. Okay, so that does it for game one. Uh, I'm going to go over to my OBS here and change the Dillos to one. Keep our ticker going. And now we're going to look at changes. So the Dillos already submitted something. Uh, I'm going to... <laughs> yeah, that's that was a whole thing. We're going to finish today. We are going to save. Yeah, don't get, don't get me started, Scott. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to go with the Dillos first. 
Uh, oh, this is before the stamina check, too. <laughs> yeah, this this was before the stream started. Uh, so it is only versus right-handed pitchers. We are there. We got Dog Summer going to the... Wait. Five hole? This lineup is completely changed. Did they mean... <clears throat> Alright, well, I'll change it to that. Whatever. Um... Cali Alvarez leading off as DH. And hmm. Lalo. And then John Garfield, who's playing third base. Namate. And Dog Summer, who's playing second base, yes. And Salamanca. Marcellus Clay. Or, wait, no. Blue Sky. Blue Sky, yeah. Blue Sky. Playing first base, shortstop, and JD there. We swap those two. Uh, Care Bear goes in as pinch hitter. That will do it for that. And then we got some strategy changes that I got to do. The most fun part. The most fun part, indeed. So our... First here, we got hook starting pitchers, minus plus three, hook relievers plus three, pinch hit for position players, minus, minus five. five, that's already there, use pinch runners, minus five. Uh, then we got minus three for hook starting pitchers, minus three for hooking relievers, pinch hit is plus three. Or pinch hit three and pinch runners is plus three. Is that three? No. Yeah. Yeah. And then for this we got minus five for pitchers. Plus and five moves. for that. And that is good. Cool. Uh, perfect. Uh, they didn't ask for a stamina check, so I'm not giving them one. Uh, <laughs> uh, Firehawks, check Voyager stamina. Thanks, Turk. Uh, all right, so we'll go to the pitching here. Uh, obviously, HOR Hypocrites is 0% exhausted. He uh, done. Your starters should all be good. 100%, 100%, 100%, indeed. All right, so now John Marston, 40%. Johnny Whiplash, 31%. Tahini Lord is 100% good to go. Girk is 71%. Nastier Nestor, 100%. Matthew West, 100%. Tyrone White, 100%. Magic Joe Lee, 100%. Oh my goodness, you have a lot of pitchers here. Hosnacio is 100%. Hosnacio. And Slot Brian Nation. Wilson is 100%. Okay, so we have move whiplash to none specified normal. So we'll do that. That is all it's good. An interesting. It's an interesting Dillos one. Do have no stamina check. We are good by the Dillos. Perfect. Uh, that is all you need, Lumo, because we will go ahead and move on. And we'll just go straight on to game two. Yep. Easy peasy. John Marston unspecified and normal perfect those are done we can go on to scores check the dillos real quick jacker says hi <laughs> and you asked me to change the wrong lineup well it's done now <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, oh game three here we go game that'll be a game, game three yeah change. I guess that's game three change <laughs> Oh man. Uh all right, so we I got nothing from Lumo. They keep, they keep changing the wrong lineup. Jack is typing, so I'll hold it up. Prediction for game two is live. Over under errors one and a half, so make sure you get that one in. World series is the time to spend it. It's the time to go all in for every single one. <laughs> and I bet I bet very responsibly in the regular season. 
but if I'm not co-hosting and I'm watching stream, I will just all in. I could have <laughs> 9.9K, and I will go all in. I have 23.3K channel points right now that I'm waiting to use. Okay, uh, uh, we're <laughs> just going to go ahead because nobody's saying anything. So game two, here we go. <laughs> Type uh, fast for the next time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so we are still in uh, Dillo territory, and just like last time, it will be... Uh, Scud taking the Firehawks, I'll take the Dillos. On the mound for the Firehawks this time is Jeffrey Lebowski. And for the Dillos is Tyler Rogalski. Little little ski names there. All right. Skis. Skis. <laughs> and we are going to start game two. Here we go. Skumina. Skumina. <laughs> All right, game two. Here we go. French Fry is going to start us off with a one of the weirdest looking foul outs to, to the first baseman I've ever seen. Bringing up the two hole Dan, Dan King Jr. He's going to hit a fly ball deep left field, but caught just before the warning track for the second out. Bringing up Sam in arms. He's going to hit a ground ball to the third baseman who'll make the throw over for the third out of the inning. So a quick one, two, three, four, Rogowski. And we'll see what Lebowski can do in the bottom of the first. Alrighty here, D Namate. I hope I've been saying that somewhat right, because I think it's Dinamite. Dinamite. All right, mm -hmm. Dina Dinamite. Whatever they <laughs> they ground it out. Doesn't matter. Hector Salamanca is going to take a walk. <laughs> I know I'm brutally honest when it comes to the streams. The other yeah, Salamanca I... is going to strike out looking. So we got one on and two outs for Marcellus Clay, who's going to ground out. The pitcher will take that and threw 500 miles an hour when he was right next to the first baseman. And that will be the third out. God, I used to do that in college. I used to just light up the first baseman <laughs> during PFP drills. Oh, no. Uh, touch to, yeah, no, they didn't like me. Touch to will fly out to center field for the first out of the inning. Arthur Morgan goes deep to center field, but not deep enough. And that'll be out number two. Danny Barron. Hitting 311, that'll be down just a bit after that ground out. So another th three up, three down for the Firehawks. Go down to the bottom second. All right, let's see if we can get some offense going here. John Garfield is going to strike out for the first out. Both pitchers doing extremely well in this early part of the game. Blue Sky is going to hit one in the center field, and that will drop down and be our first hit of the ball game. Blue Sky out first. Yeah, there's some offense. And Bears going to hit go. one into left field. That'll be another single. So two on, one out for number eight hitter Alvarez. And that's going to be the shortstop. Doesn't turn the double play, however. So both runners move. Second and third, two outs now. Martinez is going to ground out to the third baseman. And that Clutch will deep. strand those two runners on base. <clears throat> Still nothing, nothing. And California is on the hit column with that single from Gladdy Verrero. And it'll be a ground ball from Long Ball. And they don't turn the double play, so they'll take the 4-6 fielder's choice. Bringing up Ren Foster, who's going to strike out looking on the changeup. Bringing up the leadoff man, French Fry, who's going to hit another foul out to the first baseman. <laughs> French Fry is cursed right now. <laughs> And we head down to the bottom of the third. I keep accidentally closing Discord, and it's making me really mad. Uh, Dimite, Namite, whatever, how you say it, Dinamite. That's, there we go. It's going to hey. strike out swinging. Progress. Progress. I'm terrible with names. Uh, Hector Salamanca is going minors. to fly out to the right field, and yes, it's, it gets worse every year. And mm -hmm. the other Salamanca is going to hit one in the right field, and that one will drop for a hit, actually. Then Marcellus Clay is going to hit literally the exact same ball into right field for a single. Uh, Salamanca goes all the way to third, and Clay takes off for second and is safe. Runners are in scoring position now, and that's a hit to right field. That will bring in both runners home. Clutch hitting from John Garfield, a two-RBI single. And just like last game, the Dillos have an early 2-0 lead. Garfield takes off for second and is safe. It's going to be Zodiac Blue Sky up now, and that's up the middle. That could oh bring boy. in another run, and it will indeed. The Dillos take a 3-0 lead. An RBI single from John or Zodiac Blue Sky, 
And we still have a runner on, and that's going to be a wild pitch. And we have another runner in scoring position now for Care Bear. That's deep Lay in the ball. left center field, and that <laughs> ball is gone. 454 feet. Oh, my God. Using all 51 of that power, and it's 5 nothing in the bottom of the third. The Dillos are absolutely exploding here. Well, Dak, the lineup changes might not have been what you wanted, but... Uh, <laughs> You might not be too <laughs> upset with how it's going no, on right now. No. It is five nothing. We'll head it to the top half of the fourth. All right, full count to Dan King Jr. That'll be a leadoff base hit into the left center gap for Dan King Jr. Bringing up the three hole salmon arms. It's going to hit a ground ball to the second baseman. Turns it over to the four six three double play. Can't draw it up any better than that. Touched intro is going to ground out to the third baseman. So just. Ex that's what the doctor ordered for the Dillos pitching right there. Three up, three down after a five spot. We'll head down to the bottom of the fourth. Can't do much better than that. J.D. Martinez is going to look at ball four. That's a four-pitch walk. Lebowski's mm -hmm. really got to get back in this game. And that's the way to do it. Now, I thought they were going to turn Almost. the double play there. No. They never do. They it's never only going to be a fielder's choice as Dinamite is going to take off for second and is safe. Hector Salamanca now, and that's deep in the right center field, and that one is wow. gone. Another home run for the Dillos, another two-run shot, 431 feet off the bat of Hector Salamanca, and it is a 7-0 lead here from the Dillos, only in the fourth. Magic Joe Lee in the game now. Lebowski could not get through that fourth inning. And that's going to be a leadoff infield single from Lalo Salamanca. Marcellus Clay is now going to take a walk. Still only one out in the inning with two on. John Garfield up now. Garfield's going to hit one to second. Throw to second turn and oh, they can, yet turn again it. cannot turn the double play. Runners on the corner. Zodiac Blue Sky. That's the shortstop. They will take the easy out at second. But not before two more runs come home. It is seven nothing. All right. Let's see if... California can get something going. Arthur Morgan ground ball to shortstop. Not going to be, not going to be the throw there first out. Danny Brennan's going to take the four pitch walk. That'll bring up the shortstop Gladdy Verrero. Brennan's going to take off, and they're going to steal. And they're not going even going to throw. Weird. Gladdy Verrero will ground out to the shortstop. Second out of the inning, bringing up long ball. Who's going to hit a pop up to the catcher? Those animations look so weird, but that is the third out <laughs> I of the hate game. it. I, I hate know. those <laughs> animations so much. They are cursed. <laughs> it's like I, the physics just don't look right. All right, we're only in the bottom half of the fifth because the Dillos lineup has been tearing it up, and that'll be the tenth hit of the game for them already from Care Bear. Alvarez is going to ground out to the first bait. What? Oh, not, not a They didn't play. turn the double play, I guess. He stepped on first and could not get the out at second, so it's a fielder's choice. Bears still on second. Martinez flies out. And oh Dinamite is up now, and that's going to be a wild pitch. So runner on third here. Dinamite is going to take a walk here. Runners on the corners with two outs. Hector Salamanca up now. Had that big home run earlier, and it's going to be a strikeout to strand those two runners on base. It is still 7-0. All right, California, let's get it together. All right. <laughs> okay. And a diving play by the right fielder will save a base hit. That'll be the first out of the inning. French Fry is going to ground out to the shortstop for the second out, bringing up Dan King. Oof. He's going to get his second hit of the night and on the left field. He has two out of the three hits for California. And Salmon Arms will ground out to end the inning. So offense is just – they didn't show up today. I guess – Offense better be in California already. <laughs> yeah, they must have taken the play in early. Uh, yeah. Lalo Salamanca is going to ground out to the shortstop one out. Now Marcellus Clay is going to fly out to the center fielder for a quick second out. And John Garfield up now. And Garfield's going to hit one to the second baseman. Nice little play for a 1-2-3 inning. Just what California needs. They need to save their bullpen a little bit. Yeah, that'd be nice. And fly ball on into left field from Denstro for the first out of the inning, bringing up Arthur Morgan. He's going to hit a almost a base hit, but a diving play save makes it out number two. 
Danny Brennan's going to fly out to the second baseman, running all the way into right field to make the catch. And another three, three up, three down inning for California. We head down to the bottom of the seventh. It's stretch time. And the stretch is over just like that. Uh, Zodiac Blue Sky is going to hit one right over the shortstop's head for the 11th hit of the ball game for the Dillos. Care Bear is going to hit one into center field, and that will be a loud first out. That'll bring up Cali Alvarez. Alvarez can hit one to the shortstop. Throw to second, throw to first, oh, they and they it. finally turn the double play. Oh. A few innings late, but they do finally get it done. <laughs> it's about time. All right, Gladi Verrero, top of the eighth, and there's a fly ball going, rolling all the way to the gap. We'll see if he – nope, he won't go to three. He'll just take the sliding double. So extra base hit. Kind of what California needs here. We'll see what long ball can do. Base hit in the right field. They don't send the runner, so there'll be runners at the corners for Ren Foster. He's going to hit a base hit in the right field, and that'll get down. It'll be the first run for California. They don't send the runner to third, so it is 7-1 to one with runners at first and second for the leadoff man, French Fry, as Riabi comes in in relief and immediately gets a fly out to right field, bringing up Dan King Jr., it's going to get a base hit into right field. Do they send the runner? They don't. So that'll load the bases here for Rusty Salmon Arms. 1-0 count. And there's a base hit into left field. California's coming online. They do send the runner, and then it is a 2-RBI single, making it a 7-3 ball game. And that'll bring up the four-hole touch Denstro. Runners at first and second, one out. And there's a base hit into the left field, another base hit. And they do send the – Dan King goes all the what way. What is happening? He score. He's now 7 to What is four. happening? <laughs> this is the minors being the minors. Yep. All right. We'll see what the cold-hitting Arthur Morgan can oh do. Oh, my there's God. A, top of the Morgan to you. Arthur oh Morgan with an God. RBI what is happening? It is 7 to 5. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, boy. Oh, my. And there's another <laughs> – and he won't score the run there, so that'll be bases loaded for Gladdy Verrero. Who oh gets a my! Base hit. And that'll be no a way. I single, and they tie the game. No way! <laughs> what is going on? Oh, here we go. Gertie's in now. Long ball, oh. ground ball to first. Oh, and they turn the double play. <laughs> but not California scores seven runs in the top of the eighth. What just oh happened? It's a, brand, it's a brand new ball game. Is brand new happened. ball game. Bottom of the eighth. All of a sudden, the Dillos are tied with the Firehawks. That's going to be a ground out to the catcher. Dinamite is going to ground out to the second baseman. Two quick outs. And Hector Salamanca up now. And Salamanca is going to pop out. And that will be taken in by the first baseman. And we head to the ninth. I guess it's tied now. <laughs> this is how I thought it was going to go. Ren Foster with 2 2 count will strike out on the check swing. Looks like it was called a strike. I'm not too sure. But strike three anyway. One out, 1 2 count to French Fries. Duke Smith is back in the ball game. And he will strike out French Fry for his first out of his outing. Bringing up Dan King Jr., who's going to strike out looking. So three up, three down for the uh, Dillos bullpen. We'll head down to the bottom of the ninth to see what they can do here. Oh, boy, we might be headed to extras yet again if the Dillos cannot score a run here. It's going to be Lalo Salamanca. Tahini Lord in the game to pitch for the Firehawks is going to give up the leadoff walk. Cleanup hitter Marcellus Clay. Check swing. Oh boy. And he held up, and that's going to be ball four. Runners on first and second. No outs. John Garfield. What was that? A bunt he attempt, bunt. I guess. And that's going and to be strike starts. three <laughs> swinging. <laughs> All right, then. So one out. Still both of those runners on base. And Blue Sky is going to hit one a second. Throw to second, throw oh. to first, and they get the double play to get them out of the bottom of the ninth. All right, two games, two games headed into extras. Here we go, top of the tenth. We get overtime pay for this, right? Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Rusty Salmon Arms <laughs> lead us off here in the top of the tenth with a ground out to the first baseman, bringing up Tunch Denstro, the catcher who hits a ground ball to third and throws over, makes the play for the second out of the inning. Bringing up the first baseman, Arthur Morgan. And on the first pitch of the A-B, he's going to hit a fly ball into right field, and that'll be caught. Three up, three down. Start us off here in extras. Alrighty, Care Bear. Going to try and finish this game off, but is going to look at strike three. That is tough. That one is right down the middle, too. That is going to be Thanks. Cali Alvarez up now. And Alvarez is also going to strike out. Tahini Lord coming up clutch. Now we got J.D. Martinez. 
And that's to third base. And that's going to be their first hit of, I guess, the playoffs. That is uh, oh, wow. <laughs> what a spot to have it. And then Dinamite is going to ground out to the first baseman, stranding that runner at first base. And we head to the top half of the 11th. Man, what if every game goes at least 12 minutes? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Brennan's going to ground out to the third baseman. First out of the inning, bringing up Gladdy Verrero. 0-2 count. And we have a fly ball right field caught for the second out, bringing up the right fielder long ball. On the first pitch of the A-B, he's going to hit a ground ball deep into the shortstop, but it will be the third out of the inning, so we head down to the bottom of the 11th. Seven runs apiece, 12 hits apiece. We'll see what happens. Oh, boy. Hector Salamanca up now to lead it off for the Dillos, and that's going to be a leadoff walk pitched from Nastier Nestor. Now we've got Lalo Salamanca, and that's another walk. With runners on first and second, no outs from Marcellus Clay. What can Clay do? Clay, nice and that's the second baseman. Throw to second, throw to first, oh. and it's a double play. Two outs in the inning, runner on third for John Garfield, and they're going to oh. pop to the third <laughs> baseman, and the Firehawks get out of it yet again. We are headed to the top is... half of the 12th. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Ben Foster is going to hit a fly ball on that 0-2 pitch to center field. First out of the inning, bringing up the top of the lineup for California with one out French fry. Going to get a ground ball over to the third base, and that'll be the second out of the inning. Bringing up Dan King Jr. Full count, two outs. He's oh. going to look at strike three. <laughs> I, you know, oh, I man. have a history of crazy things happening on my streams, but this is <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is, this is something. Zodiac Blue Sky up now for the Dillos, and is going to lead it off with a single up the middle. We got a runner on base here, Care Bear. New pitcher in, Matthew West. And that's deep to right field. And that is the ball game over. Yet again, just like last game, bottom of the 12th walk-off. 418 feet from Care Bear. And the Dillos are going to take a 2-0 series lead here, winning both games at home. And <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that game. The Firehawks come back with seven runs in the eighth inning. And then we play five more in or four more innings, and they can't get anything done. <laughs> Yet again, a bunch of runners left on base. This time the Dillos with 25 left on base, and they oh, still Lord. win somehow. Um, <laughs> they're <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, so as far as the hitting goes, yeah, this this is certainly a World Series. Uh, King Jr. is going to get three hits over there on the. California side as well as Verrero with three hits and two RBIs. Dillo's side, we got a bunch of hitting. We got four hits from Blue Sky and four hits, four RBIs from Care Bear, who had that walk-off home run, and I'm guessing is going to be player of the game. Lots of pitchers being mm -hmm. used again. Nestor unfortunately takes the loss, and Smith is going to get the W pitching that three and two thirds innings to finish off the ball game. Just what you need in the playoffs. And indeed, Care Bear is your player of the game. That was kind of fitting. He Oof. hit the home run to get them on the board. Yeah, and that's then he very hits true. The home run for them to win it. Uh, I poetic. just realized I have not saved, so I'm going to go ahead and save. Do that's not want idea. to uh, mess anything up. All right, we are going to finish today. There's no games here. I'm just going to make sure that the Majors World Series. Yeah, because worst cool. worst thing would happen is I accidentally start simming the Majors World Series and then I get fired. <sighs> Uh, <laughs> no yeah, games today, so we'll finish today. We will go ahead and save, and now I assume we have some changes going on. I'd uh, imagine so. Nothing from the Dillos just yet, so I will wait for them. Firehawks, we are going to get a stamp check, so we will go ahead and do that. Go to our pitching. HR Hypocrites back at 58. Lebowski's at 26. Aaron Silence is 100% ready to go for Game 3. Tahini Lord at 83. Girk is at 90. Nastier Nestor at 82. Matthew West is almost 100% at 98. Yeah, Tyrone White. Five pitches in. Yeah, <laughs> barely through. 100% <laughs> uh, is for Tyrone White. Magic Joe Lee down at 40%. Johnny Whiplash back up to 78%, I guess, for 
relief pitcher, but as a starter is 52. John Marston back up to 82. Hosnacio 100%, Brian Wilson 100%, Carl Wilson 100%, all the Wilsons 100%, Man's Dad 100%, and Lincoln Low 100%. All right, so we got John Marston back to uh, stopper. Seventh and close game. Perfect. And Whiplash, we have set up sixth and later. That does that. Move pitch counts for West and Nestor to 50. All right, so we'll have to go to strategy. Matthew West. Pitch count 50. Boom. And Nestor is to 50. That will do it for those. No lineup changes for them. Uh, I do apologize. My Discord decided to go boop. Just yeah, kick the bucket. Good. Uh, I'm just making sure that the Dillos are good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to team. I don't want to GM the Dillos. <laughs> yeah. Uh, give them one final chance. Firehawks are good. Perfect. Dillos. Dak said they're good. So I Dak said we're good. good. All right. Uh, I guess we'll just go right into uh, game three then. Uh, I do have to yeah, update. You get to start us off here. I do get to start us off. I'm going to yes. change that to two. And I guess it's AMA, not ARM. So I'll change yeah. that. But the Dillos do have a two nothing lead, winning both games at home. Uh, do we have a prediction up? Uh, we do not. To the left. Oh. All right. Perfect time to make one then. Uh, yeah, we can, if we want to have a real quick one, then I, I don't know how to start predictions. So <laughs> if we have uh, a mod in chat, if not, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Yeah. They can there make we a go. Ninth inning. They can make a ninth inning prediction. Over under start. hits 17 and a half. So we'll give you guys a couple minutes. We'll preview this game. Uh, so, Mr. Firehawks fanboy Scud, how are you feeling now after uh, going down 2 nothing in the series? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, uh, it's been it's been wild. I'm having a blast. Are you? This. Yes, I'm having a blast. <laughs> these I'm have just been, watching great baseball. Yeah, these, these like the miners always have just like crazy things going on, and that's part of why casting them is so fun. But especially oh, yeah. when it comes in the World Series and you have a team down 7 nothing, and then all of a sudden they don't do They're anything ties. the entire game and then they just they score just, 7 to tie it. Exactly, to tie it. They just score 7 runs in the 8th and they said, no, we're not going to score yeah, any more than yeah, the no, of we're the done. Game. We're just we're like, done. yeah, well, you know, that's enough. They hit the brakes. <laughs> For like 6 innings of that game, we're like, okay, they must have sent the bats already to San Bernardino and uh, they're just going to show up for Game 3, but then all of a sudden they're like, yeah, they must have found some, like, hidden in like a the tunnel of the dugout or something. The only good so thing is we have some bats. You now have what, three games at home? Because mm -hmm. I think it goes two, three, two. Mm -hmm. So I mean I don't know if the Firehawks I mean, have a meme park or not, but No, I think I think the whole point of the it's weird. I think they're are completely neutral. See, you'll love to see it. I mean we're gonna switch to that with OP OTP twenty three anyways, but Love to yeah. see that, especially in the minors, because while it is fun to win there and everything, it is about everyone having an equal opportunity to have a bit of fun with their player. It's... What's funny is they won four in a, four in a row with no park factors, so... I that's mean... that's really funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of have to wonder if, if no park, park factors, factors was always the way to go. <laughs> All right, the predictions are closed, so we will go ahead and get started. It is Joe Boris on the mound for the Dillos, and Aaron Silence is on the mound for the Firehawks. Uh, it's going to be, hopefully, another good game, and hopefully we don't go into extras again and go with a walk-off in the bottom of the 12th. Oh <laughs> Cali Alvarez is going to lead it off here for the Dillos, and as I said, it's Aaron Silence on the mound for the Firehawks, and it's going to be a leadoff strikeout from Silence. So we got one out here early. 
Lalo Salamanca up now, and that's in the right field. And that will be the second out. John Garfield up now, and that's going to be strike three. So one, two, three inning here. Two strikeouts already from Aaron Silence. Tiny players, big balls here in San Bernardino. <laughs> As French Fry will get us going here in the bottom of the first with a ground out to short. Out number one is recorded. Bringing up Dan King Jr. You're going to have fly ball, towering fly ball to center field car for the second out. Salmon arms up to the plate, and that'll be a fly ball deep left field. Home run, and California takes their, I think that's their first lead of the World Series. I think it is. Oh, no, they had one in game one. Oh, yeah. Up, three to two, and they boofed it. But, hey, they take the first lead in the bottom of the first here in this one. That should be a good sign, bringing up Tunch Dentro, full count. It'll be a ground ball over to third base, and that'll be the third out of the inning. But California is up one nothing. Off that rusty Salmon Arms solo home run. This Salmon Arms' fourth home run this postseason. Uh, Dinamite is up now, and that's going to be a walk. Now we have Dog Summer up now. Dog Summer, that's deep into center field, but that looks like it will be caught by the center fielder. So now we got one out for Hector Salamanca, and that's the second throw to second. Double throw play. to first, and it's a double play. We got another double play turned by the Firehawks. Defense is showing up big. And it's one nothing still, California. They didn't wait till the eighth inning to put turn one. They did it in the <laughs> yeah. second. Let's go. Arthur Morgan's going to ground out to the shortstop here in the top of the second. Bring up Danny Brennan. Fly ball, right field, caught for the second out. Bring up Gladdy Verrero, who's going to look at strike three. That sinker just at the knees called. And that'll bring us to the top of the third. Not much going. Top of the third we go. We're looking for some action here from the Dillos lineup. Zodiac Blue Sky, and that's up the middle. Shortstop made a weird jumping attempt, I guess, and that doesn't matter because it's a single. Anyways, Marcellus Clay, and that's up the middle again, and that'll be back-to-back -back hits. Runner goes all the way to third, so now we have runners on the corners with no outs for J.D. Martinez. Martinez, and that's into shallow left center field. They send the runner home, however, indeed, and we are tied in this ball game. The sack fly from J.D. Martinez. One to one ball game here. Alvarez up, and that's going to be a walk. So, possibly still more offense coming here for the Dillos. Runners on first and second. One out. Salamanca, and that's the second. Throw to second, throw to first, oh, and they fight. turn it. <laughs> the defense is outstanding in this Miners World Series, but it is one to one. Let's go, California defense. And long ball. Ground out to shortstop here in the bottom of the third. For the first out, Ren Foster is going to get a oh, almost a base hit, but a diving play from the left fielder makes it out number two. French Fry is going to ground out to the shortstop for the third out of the inning. So we head to the top of the fourth, tied one to one still. All right, indeed, tied one to one. And Garfield's going to try and change that, but it's going to be a fly ball to left field. Nice, easy play there for the left fielder. Dinamite. Dinamite is going to hit one to the first baseman. It's a little PFP action there. That'll be the second it. out. Yeah, I'd love to see it. Hated doing it in high school. But <laughs> Dog Summer oh. is going to hit one to center field. That's going to be a diving catch by the center fielder. And that'll be a 1-2-3 inning. I can't tell you how many times my high school coach yelled at me during PFP drills. Oh, don't even get me started. Oh, dude, as a senior, he actually sent me to the JV practice because I couldn't get it down. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds actually, about right. Yeah, he was so fed up with me. But we have two outs, and then the strikeout swinging from Dentro will be the third out of the inning. It was a good time to talk about nothing there. There's nothing yeah. <laughs> really going on on the stream either. So here we go. Top Unders are indeed happy at the moment, but as we can see with the minors, that can change very quickly. Both teams can have 15 hits in an inning, and it'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, Salamanca is going to fly out. Blue Sky is going to ground out. The two quick outs here. Not much offense here in this middle half of the game. And right as I say that, Incredible. nice little happy jinx there for Marcellus Clay. And that is a fly ball to right center field that goes over the wall. 425 feet to take the lead here for the Dillos in California. Game three trying to take a 3 nothing lead. And that they are in good position at the moment. J.D. Martinez is going to ground out to the shortstop. But it's already a 2-1 to one ball game. I think every single home run has been well over 400 feet this series, which is lovely to see. Uh, Arthur Morgan's going to ground up to the second baseman, almost dropped my phone. 
Fun times. Danny Brennan's going to work the walk here, so that'll put a runner on for Gladdy Verrero with one out. Full count. That'll be a ground ball to the sword stop, and they turn the double play of their own. Inning, inning, double play from Verrero. And we head down to the top of – head down to the – head up to the top of the six. There you go. <laughs> Cali Smith Alvarez. This is hard, man. <laughs> Uh, that's going to be right past the third baseman for a leadoff single here in this top half of the sixth. That's a fly ball from Salamanca. That'll be caught by the center fielder. That was it on his fist. Uh, John Garfield, that's deep to center field as well. And that will be back at the track and caught right in front of the warning track. So still that runner on first with two outs. Dinamite, that's in the left field. And that will be caught by the left fielder. And that'll be the third out. And yes, they are launching an investigation already about my collusion with the minor league World Series. Hmm. Oh, oh. <laughs> and it's a tie game. <laughs> Second See? Of the A B and See? long ball. If long not ball, me, it's a long <laughs> ball in the left field, making this a two-two game. I didn't do it. It's not me. All right, Shaggy. <laughs> Ren Foster's going to ground out to the third baseman for the first out of the inning. French Fry's going to hit one up the <laughs> middle, but fielded by the shortstop for the second out of the inning, bringing up Dan King Jr. Hits a base hit in the left field. That'll extend the inning, bringing up the three-hole Rusty Salmon Arms. who hit the home run in the first inning of this ball game. As we have a pitching change, as Akia Blahaj is now in the game, and he will retire Salmon Arms to end the inning. But we do have, yet again, a new ball game. As we head into the last third of this game. <laughs> I host one World Series and now I'm colluding the entire league. You love to see it. That is that is pretty on par with my streams. It's going to no, be Dog really Summer who's going to fly out to left center field. Hector Salamanca is going to ground out to the third baseman. And let's say yeah. the pitching's doing really nice here. Oh, look at that. I complimented the pitching and nothing happened. It's going to be a 1-2-3 <laughs> inning. It is still 2-2. Two, two. All right. Tunch Denstro. Stretch time. No, it's not stretch time. <laughs> First out of the bottom of the seventh is recorded, bringing up Arthur Morgan. See what he can do. Hasn't had, hasn't done much this entire World Series, hitting a cool 190 this postseason. But then Danny Brennan's going to follow it up with a two-out base hit up the middle, bringing up Gladdy Verrero. 1-1 one, one count. That'll be a ground ball to the shortstop, who throws it over to second four, the fielder's choice, and that'll retire the side. We head to the top of the eighth. This is Still absolutely going to extras. There's Two no runs, way. four hits apiece for both teams. Marcellus that Clay, that's, that's in the deep right field. Don't <laughs> tell me I jinxed it again. No, you didn't. Okay, that's I caught did. right in front of the warning track for the first out. J.D. Martinez, and that's ground ball to the shortstop. That'll be the second out. Cali Alvarez, the leadoff hitter, and that's into right center field, and that will be caught by the right fielder. One, two, three, hitting. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the eighth, we go. Still tied. We go. Bottom of the eighth. California's up. Long ball hit the home run last time, but will strike out this time. Bringing up the DH. I almost want to say center fielder for some reason, but this is the DH. Ren Foster, 1-2 count. Ground ball to the second baseman, thrown over for the second out of the inning. Bringing up the leadoff man, French Fry. He's going to hit a fly ball, but caught. Uh, that was hard hit, but just did not have the launch angle to get out of the ballpark. Now we third out of the inning. We head to the ninth, still tied. All right, Lalo Salamanca up now, trying to get something going. Give him the lead here in the top half of the ninth. John Marston up to pitch. That's going to be strike three, swinging one out here. John Garfield up now. That's up the middle, and that'll drop right in front of the center fielder for a one-out single. It'll bring up cleanup hitter Dinamite. That's up the middle, and that'll be a hit. Runner will go all the way to third, so runner's on the corners now for Dog Summer, number five hitter. Lots of power out of this bat, and that's in the right field. That gets down. That brings in one. Dinamite goes all the way to third, and everyone swaps positions. Dillos take a 3-2 to two lead. Salamanca up now as Dog Summer goes for second and is safe. Both runners in scoring position. And that's a fly ball to the third baseman. We have two outs now for Zodiac Blue Sky. And it's a wild oh pitch. No. Runner comes home, and the Dillos take a 4-2 to two lead here in the top half of the ninth. A oh, wild wow. pitch. A no. Zodiac Blue Sky is going to hit one in the left field. That will be caught. But the damage has been done. The Dillos take a 4-2 to two lead. Heading into the bottom of the ninth. What can California say? They could say a two spot when we go to the tenth. No. <laughs> Dan King Jr. is going to strike out. 
with that full count pitch, bringing up Sam in arms, who's going to strike out as well. Bauer may end up getting his wish here. <laughs> Tons Denstro up. Oh my! We'll take the four pitch walk, and the inning's not the game's not over yet. Not we'll Arthur Morgan. Arthur Morgan, O2 count. Runner at first. See what he can do with the 35 year old minor leaguer, but he will strike out swinging. So California is down three games to Z- Zilch. 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 Really? Nada. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. So we we had those two runs coming there in the top half of the ninth. A bunch of clutch hitting. Yet again, the Dillos leading the way over in the left on base category and still finding a way to get the runners in when they really need it. Uh, mm-hmm. Offense. Double digits again. Yeah. Offense in general for both teams was not great. Uh, mm-hmm. Only seven hits from the Dillos. Only multi-hit day coming there from Clay. And uh, no multi-hit days for California. Uh, mm-hmm. So yet again was another great pitching day. Uh, Blaha is going to take the W there going three innings. And 35-year-old minor leaguer is going to get the save with one out. <laughs> Love to see it. Three pitches thrown, and you get you get the save. Uh, California pitching, Aaron Silence doing really well there, going eight innings, only giving up the two, but gets a no decision. And Marston's going to take the loss, giving up two and only that one inning pitch. And your player of the game is Aaron Silence. Like I said, really nice pitching out of them. Okay, so I will take a quick trip to my OBS here, and we are going to change this to a 3 nothing series lead by the Dillos, and I can already feel a reverse sweep coming because <laughs> they want me to sit God. here and watch all seven games. Oh, no. I can feel it. All right, we are going to go ahead and take a look at the changes here. I'm going to finish today. And today is the ninth. The Dillos are 7-0 in the playoffs already. That is crazy. Gee. Uh, All right. We got Firehawks changes. Not changes, just stamina checks so far. So we will go ahead and do that. It's easy enough. HOR Hypocrites back up to 100%. Lebowski is up to 58 and Aaron Silence just pitched is absolutely gassed. We will go down the line of relief pitchers. We got John Marston at 56%. Whiplash is back up to 92. Tahini Lord is back up to 88. Girk is up to 95. Still a cursed name. I hate that. <laughs> Nastier Nestor is up to 87. Matthew West is up to 98. Tyrone White up to 100%. No pitching out of them. Magic Jolie is down to 66%. Hosnacio 100%. I don't believe they've pitched. Brian Wilson 100%. They haven't pitched either, I don't think. Carl Wilson 100%. Bat Mansdad 100%. And Lincoln Lowe 100%. So we have a couple of changes here. We got Marston to middle relief and normal mm-hmm. usage. Whiplash to stopper with eighth and eighth and close. Okay, and lead. There we go. And big lit up to set up seventh or later. And Mr. Dirk is typing. Mm. Uh the Dillos are just going to roll with it, I guess. Yeah. No, it's, All right. I, you know I, what? You're up 3 nothing. Why not? Why change anything? It's working. Yeah, no kidding. I got it, Dirk. It's, it's the eighth or later in lead. Or, Imagine that Dirk's right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a first time for everything, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Power collusion <laughs> incoming. Indeed, I got to get this back to seven games. I got to make it happen somehow. We got to earn our pay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Agreed. Good with and lead. Dirk sucks. <laughs> I don't know if I have that emoji or not. Hmm. 
Still got nothing. Yeah, Dillas are good. So I'm just waiting on a final okay here from Lumosity Fan. Um, do we have a prediction up? We do. And it's a very interesting one. Who wins? Wow. Uh, I'm not going to vote because then I'm going to be called Pete Rose. So it's game four. It should um, be close. Can you be my bookie? <laughs> you vote for me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, cool. Can you put it on the Firehawks? All right, we are good. Yeah, sure. I'll, you know what? Sure, I'll, I'll put a little money on the Firehawks. Why not? Yeah, you know, at least get a game five out of this. Yeah. But, okay. you know. I don't, yeah. I don't want it to be a sweep. Here's the thing. If, because if you win the bet, you get some channel points. If you don't win the bet, quickest minor, there quickest we go. minor, well, you know, put minor, 2K on California. Ah, big money. <laughs> I still have 21K. I could have put so much money on them. Uh, all right. So both teams are good. And we are going to head to game four. The Dillos indeed have that 3 nothing lead and could end it here in California. Firehawks looking to hang on. Uh, back on the mound here, we got Gurin Voodoo on the mound for the Dillos, and HOR Hypocrites is on the mound for the Firehawks. <laughs> Love saying that on stream. Oh, uh, yeah, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got about me... 40 seconds left, so what are you thinking here, Mr. Scud? Uh, I'm thinking every time you say that pitcher's name, I giggle. So, um... <laughs> That's, Other than yeah, that, fair. I'm I'm hoping for hoping for Arthur Morgan to get rid of that little cold sign next to his name. I'm hoping he has a bit of a good game. Uh, yeah, but, I would say it's just because I'm friends with Shu, it's pretty funny. But also, oh, I feel yeah. bad for him. So yeah, because I was kind of hoping I I would say you know top of the Morgan a whole bunch of times, but I've only gotten to say it once. That's <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. So I'm a little, I'm a little sad, but you know. Well, not what much is the world without do. a little bit of sadness? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have to get all true. <laughs> man, it's the World Series. It's the time to let out those feelings. Oh man! Uh, <laughs> man. All right, predictions are closed, and we will head into Game Four. Everything could end right here, right now, but I truly hope not because a sweep is a bit boring and I mm -hmm. like when things get interesting. And the Miners usually give us something interesting, so please, Firehawks offense, get something going. Road to Dillo's Game offense, 7 is away. Yeah. <laughs> Road to Game 7. <laughs> Dillo's offense, like all series, has no problem getting going, and we have two quick hits. Runners on the corners already. Lalo Salamanca. Salamanca is going to hit one to second base. It's a liner. That'll be the first out. So those runners on the corners. Second baseman will grab another one here. Two quick outs. Are we going to strand those runners on base? John Garfield up now. That's in the shallow yes. center field. And the second baseman making all three outs. And those runners are stranded about, on the corners. I thought about calling this. It's like, what do you think the second baseman's going to do here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, French fry is going to lead us off against Gurin Voodoo. With a ground ball up the middle, fielded by the shortstop, thrown over. Out number one is made. Dan King Jr. will strike out on the changeup. So two outs, two up, two down, bringing up the three-hole second baseman, Rusty Salmonons. 0-2 count, and that'll be a strikeout as well. So Gurren Voodoo looking very efficient on the bump right now. Two Ks in that inning. We head up to the top of the second. Uh, you shouldn't have said anything about pitching because you know that jinxes is everything and there's collusion and all that. And look. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. Get some help. I can <laughs> I swear I'm not doing <laughs> I hate this. Blue Sky is going to oh. hit one into left field. Bleachers. And the Dillos are going to take a one nothing lead. And I guess I couldn't have scripted that any better. <laughs> no, you couldn't. <laughs> this is the worst. Bear is oh. going to strike out. <laughs> Oh, Cali Alvarez now. That's the third base, and that'll be the second out. Uh, J.D. Martinez is going to ground to the shortstop, oh. and they can't handle it. And I think that might be the first error of the World Series. I'm not too sure. Uh, no, there was one in game one. One in game one, okay. Dinamite mm -hmm. is going to fly out to center field, but it is a one nothing lead here by the Dillos early. All right, Tunstenstro up to the plate, and he will strike out. 
the third of the night for Guru and Voodoo. And if he's going to have the game of his career, this is definitely the night to have it. Arthur Morgan is up. 3-1 count. He's going to work a walk. Top of the Morgan. Oh, please get it going no. again. Yeah, no, so forced. <laughs> but he will he will steal second base, bringing up so Danny Brennan with two strikes. We'll hit a ground ball over to the first, throw it over to the pitcher, a little PFP, moving the runner over. Gladdy Verrero, the runner at third, gets a base hit, and we have a tie game. So the California's offense not waiting till the eighth inning this time. And it is a tie game one to one. Then a fly ball, center field, and long ball. Goes long to center field. Long ball hits a long ball. Uh, Long ball hit long ball. (laughs) Long ball do long ball things. And it is a three to one ball game. Ren Foster up one two count. And there's a base hit into left field. So this inning is not over yet. And bring up the center fielder French Fry. Hits a ground ball to the shortstop. Throws it over. Fielder's choice to the second baseman. And this is this is different. California has a lead. Things are looking up. Love to see it. It is indeed different. Salamanca is going to ground out to the shortstop. Second Salamanca, a clone, is going to hit one into deep right field. That's caught. Oh, I thought it was going to be caught. No. It just gets over the wall. 360 feet. What, are we playing in Yankee Stadium? What is going on? That's (laughs) actually pretty deep for a right field. (laughs) I guess so. Uh, 320 is pretty shallow. Salamanca is going to hit that out of the park, and then it'll be a 2-3 to three ball game. Marcellus Clay is going to strike out after that. We have two outs. That's going to be John Garfield. That's in the right field, and that one will be caught, unlike the one again. that I said that was going to be <laughs> caught. <laughs> I am I am oh. having a rough time here in this World Series. I have been put on the hot seat. Have a drink. It's okay. It's way too Thank early you. for that. <laughs> That's Saturday. Uh, maybe. Yeah, it's Saturday. Never too early. <laughs> Dan King works the walk, and then Salmon Arms will fly out to center field. Dan King, make it. I wish that was a sack fly because that did its job. <laughs> so, Salmon Arms hits the sack fly to center, moves the runner to second. Denstro flies out to center field. And then Arthur Morgan. Oh, top of the out. Morgan. So not very top of the Morgan there. But California does hold on here. It is three to two, heading to the top of the fourth. I know she was actually mad on. at me for saying that, but it's also very funny. Uh, Zodiac Blue Sky is gonna hit one into left field. <laughs> Listen, guys, I gotta have a little fun with it. Uh, oh, always. Care Bear is oh, gonna boy. hit one in center field. That's oh, caught lovely. by the center fielder. What a diving catch! Now Alvarez up, and that's in the center field again, but that one does get down for a hit. Runner thinks about going to third, but holds up. Runner's on first and second now. J.D. Martinez, we have the weird cursed fly ball, and that will be caught by the first baseman. Back to the top of the lineup, Dinamite is going to hit one into center field. That will strand those two runners on base, and it's still two to three. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Skooma, skooma, skooma. Skooma, 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 skooma. skooma. (laughs) Danny Brennan's going to ground out to the second baseman. 2-0 count to Gladdy Barrero. Ground out to the third baseman. And we'll see if we can get the shortstop in on this long ball. We'll hit a ground ball to the first baseman, so the shortstop doesn't even touch the ball this inning. Sad. It's okay. He's had enough. <laughs> Top of the Hector fifth. Salamanca decides to try and bunt there. Uh, can't bunt, and then strikes out anyways. That's an interesting uh, series of events there. Lalo Salamanca is going to hit one right past the first baseman. Dove, but just got right past the glove. There's a one-out single. Salamanca is hot now. Marcellus Clay, that's to right field, and it's caught for the second out. That'll bring up the number five hitter, John Garfield. That's up the middle, and that'll be down for a base hit. Runners on first and second now for Zodiac Blue Sky. Hot hitter already. That's right past the first baseman. That could bring in a run, and we are tied here again in California. It is a 3-3 three three ball game. Zodiac Blue Sky with an RBI single. Two outs. Runners on the corners. Care Bear is going to ground out to the shortstop. Throw to second. But it doesn't matter. It is 3-3. Three three. Dillos have nine hits, and it's still only a tie ball game. Jeez. I didn't look at that. Thanks for bringing, thanks for bringing that up. Ren Foster will strike out in the bottom of the fifth for the first out. Bring up the th- back to the top of the lineup here. French Fry is going to hit a fly ball going toward the left field line, but caught for the second out. Bring up Dan King Jr., who will strike out for the third out of the inning. So we head to the top of the sixth. 
tie game. And oh boy, here we go. I think chaos is going to happen at the end of this game, just like it has been the entire series. Uh, okay Alvarez is going to fly out to right field. J.D. Martinez is going to take a walk. Don't walk that .083 hitting <laughs> nine hole. Dinamite is stiff. up. Yes. <laughs> Martinez is going to take second. And Dinamite hits one into right field. And Martinez doesn't come home. Runners on the corners. It's going to be a strikeout from Ooh. Salamanca. Two outs. Lalo Salamanca, hot hitter. Two hits already in this ball game. Can they make it three? It's going to be a walk. Bases loaded for Marcellus Clay. Two outs. Johnny Whiplash in the game. And that's a high oh fly no. ball. Deep left center field. And it's a grand slam. Marcellus Clay with a grand slam. 420 feet blaze up. It's 7-3 to three in the sixth inning. The Dillos with a huge home run there. After that, Garfield is over. going to take a walk. This inning isn't over. Zodiac Blue Sky, that's the first base, and now it's over. But the damage is done. 7-3. to three. What is going on with this Dillo's lineup? All right, incoming California four spot. Here we go. And that's not how you're going to start it off, though. Seven arms are going to grab it down to the shortstop. Punch Denstro will hit a fly ball. Deep center field. God, just at the warning track. That's pain. <laughs> and then Arkham Morgan gets plunked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh. <laughs> have a have a terrible postseason and then we're gonna bean you for it. <laughs> As if your day wasn't gonna... bad enough. Let's... I know, then, then you just get beaned. Oh my. Oh, nope, here, here we, we go. go. Here we, here we go. Hits a single and then Flamero hits an RBI single, making it a seven to four game. Here we go. Long ball. First pitch of the A B hits a ground ball underneath the glove. And what is going on? Okay, runners at the corners. It's an RBI single from Long. Here ball. we go. And now Ren Foster, the nine hole, will be up. Runners at the corners. One, two. Oh count. my God! A, did they just? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> no way! And California takes an eight to seven lead. What? <laughs> did I say four spot? I meant five spot. What? <laughs> 371 feet to right field puts California ahead of the Dillos. <laughs> I just, i <laughs> Chaos. I, this happens every time I stream. <laughs> <laughs> you can't catch a break. No. Boy. All right. Care Bear is going to lead it off here for the Dillos. Now down seven to eight. High scoring <laughs> ball game here. Bear takes a walk. Alvarez is up the middle, and that's a hit. That one will move the runners to first and second here. J.D. Martinez up now. Martinez hits a swinging bunt, only plays to first, so runners on second and third with only one out. And that'll bring up Dean Amite. That's ground ball to second. That won't move either runner, so now we have two outs. Hector Salamanca. Salamanca has one hit in the game. Can we make it two? It is. It's going to get down. It's going to be one RBI, oh. two RBIs. <laughs> And the Dillos are going to take the lead again in the top half of the seventh. It is nine to eight. Two RBIs from Salamanca. Now we have Lalo Salamanca. The offense isn't done. It's a single. And Salamanca will hit the other Salamanca all the way over to third. Runners on the corners. Marcellus Clay is going to strike out. Oh my but two God. more <laughs> runs for the Dillos. And it's oh no. nine to eight. Up, down, up, down, up, down. We'd love to see it. <laughs> Dan King Jr. is going to strike out after the stretch for the first out as we are in the bottom of the seventh. Now, Rusty Salmon Arms is going to strike out as Zach Taylor is in the ball game, Or I guess he was in the ball game. Yeah, he's got an inning pitch now. Okay, yeah, he's been in. Touch Dentro, and he, Taylor's going to strike out the side. So shut down inning after the Dillos take the lead, and that's kind of what Ar Amarillo wants. We'll go to the top of the eighth here. All right, Dillo's looking for a little bit of insurance. John Garfield's going to hit one in the right field, and that'll be caught for the first out. Zodiac Blue Sky absolutely killing it this game and is going to get their fourth hit of the ball game. It's a single, a one-out single. That will be – now we'll bring up Care Bear. Care Bear is going to hit one to left field, and that will be the second out. Still that runner on first, though, for the DH Alvarez, who is, has two hits already today. John Marston in, in the game now. And it's a diving catch by the center fielder to save extra bases probably there. 
And we head to the bottom half of the eighth. Six outs remaining for the California Firehawks. All right, six outs to go. Let's see what happens. Arthur Morgan's going to lead off the inning with a walk. Top of the Morgan this inning. And he's going to take off for second. And he is safe with that stolen base. Danny Brennan's going to fly out to center field. Morgan's going to oh, tag up and head to third. So we have a runner at first, or third, with one out. Grady Guerrero, fly ball, right field. That's going to be caught. They send the runner. Oh, my. He's going to be safe. We have a tie game. Tie oh, game. my. <laughs> Extras game four? No. Anyone? Anybody? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. Long ball's going to ground out to the second baseman for the third out of the inning. So we'll see if Amarillo can get it done here in the top of the ninth. <laughs> All right. If the Dillos want to win it in regulation, they got to get it done here. Dog Summer is going to pinch hit, and that is going to be a line out to the shortstop. Dinamite. And that's going to be in the left field right over the shortstop's head for a one-out single. Now we're back at the top of the lineup. Hector Salamanca, and that's going to be a strike three swinging for the second out. Lalo Salamanca up now, and that's a throw to second, and Dinamite is thrown out stealing. Just what you don't want to do in the top half of the ninth, and it's still tied. All right, bottom of the order here for the Firehawks. Ren Foster will strike out for the first out of the bottom of the night, but we do have the top of the lineup here. French Fry up 2-1 count. 35-year-old minor leaguer in the ballgame now against French Fry, who hits a fly ball into right field for the second out of the inning, bringing up Dan King Jr. First pitch of the A-B, hits a fly ball, oh boy. and it is caught. Here we, we go. We are heading to extras in game four. <laughs> what more could you ask winner. for out of this series? I mean, uh, three extra inning games. I don't know. <laughs> Four. Lalo Salamanca is going to strike out second from Marston in the game. Marcellus Clay had that big grand slam earlier. And that is not a grand slam. That's a ground out to third base for the second out. Now we got John Garfield up. Matthew West in the game now for the Firehawks. And that's going to be a swinging bunt to the pitcher. <laughs> and that will be the third out. We go to the bottom half of the 10th. PFP. Love to see it. PFP. PFP. All right, Sam and Arms is going to work the walk to start us off here in the bottom of the 10th, bringing up Tunch Denstro. Sam and Arms takes off and is safe with the stolen base. Oh, my God. And then the and then the wild pass ball, actually, on a wild pitch. Full count from Denstro, and he strikes out, bringing up Arthur Morgan. If they don't score. Oh, my. Don't put that, don't put that juju on me, Ricky Bobby. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Danny Brennan, 2-2 two, two count. There's oh points for the run. <laughs> and we head to the top of the 11th. No! Runner at third, no outs. Can't get a run. Top That's... of the 11th, we are here. 16 hits for the Dillos. Make it 17 on the game. Almost hitting the over-under from last game, just in the Dillos. Uh, we got Bear up now. Bear hits one to left field, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Are we going to see another bottom of the 12th walk-off? Cali Alvarez is going to strike Maybe. out looking. And Francis San Francisco is up pitch hitting. And that's going to be a swinging bunt to second base. And everyone is safe. So with an infield okay. single, runners on first and second. Dinamite is going to strike out, stranding both of those runners on base. 18 hits to seven. And it's still a tie game here. We go to the bottom of the 11th. <laughs> we have nine runs, seven hits, and one error. And we're still tied. <laughs> Glad was going to line out to the third baseman for out number one. Bringing up long ball is going to strike out, but it's a drop third strike, and he'll get on base from the drop. And that throw is a bit late. <laughs> Ren Foster is going to hit a ground ball to second. He throws over to short for the fielder's choice, but no double play. Bringing a French fry. Ground ball, shortstop oh thrown over to second. <laughs> so we head we to head to the, the cursed 12, 12 inning. Cursed. All right, Hector Salamanca trying to get something going for the Dillos, and it's going to be a strikeout. Lalo Salamanca trying to get that fourth hit of the ball game, and it's going to be a ground ball to second base, and that's going to be a second out. And Marcellus Clay, their seventh at bat of the ball game, is going to be a ground out to the shortstop. It's one, two, three. We head to the bottom half of the 12th. Here we go. And we're going to start it off here. 3 0 count to Dan King Jr. That'll be a walk to start us off. Bring up Salmon Arms. Oh my god! And they pick him off. No! And then Salmon Arms hits a fly ball in the right field for the out number two. Are we going to head to the 13th here? 
Tunstone Stroh, one zero count. It's a fly ball, center field. Nope, never mind. That's going to be caught by the sh- uh, second baseman. Yeah, we're going to play an entire extra game here. That. Yeah, that's okay. All right, thirteenth <laughs> inning of the game, and that slapped into right field, caught by the right fielder from Garfield. Zodiac Blue Sky already f- has five hits on the game. Yeah, they don't want to pitch call. to him at all. Good call there. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a walk there. One on, one out for Care Bear. Care Bear is going to take a walk to Heaney Lord in the game now. Hummus, cover your eyes. Cali Alvarez. <laughs> That's going to be the third base throw to first only, however. So runners on second and third, two outs for Super Gremlin. And Super Gremlin is going to strike out, <laughs> stranding those two runners on base. We've had like 50 runners stranded oh for the Dillos. Lord. It's still tied, 9-9, bottom 13. Full count, Arthur Morgan up, bottom of 13. He's going to hit a fly ball almost in the gap, but is caught by the right fielder for the first out. Bringing up Danny Brennan. Duke Smith's up in the game. A ground ball to second base, thrown over. Second out of the inning is made. Kuladi Verrero, 1 0 count. And we have a oh my another 1 2 3 inning. <laughs> we head to the 14th inning. This has to set a record for most innings played in the World Series, uh, right? It feels like it. Uh, we have not had a run scored since the 8th. We are at the top of the 14th. Dinamite is going to start this top half. Going with a ground out to the shortstop. Hector Salamanca up now with their eighth at-bat of the game. Well, it's not going to be an at-bat because it's a walk. It's going to be Lalo Salamanca up now. Salamanca is going to ground a second, throw to second, double throw play. to first, and it's a double play. And Clutch we head to the bottom the half of the 14th. It's still 9-9. Surprised nine, the, defense nine. Is, surprise the defense is still awake in the 14th inning. Long ball is going to hit a base hit up the middle. We have some life here in the bottom half of this inning. Bringing up Ren Foster, 1-0 count. We have Riabi. And there's a base hit in the left field. Here we go. They, they won't move the runner, so we have runners at first and second for the top of the lineup. French Fry is going to strike out looking. Game on the line, and you strike out looking. Not what you want to see. Ground ball from King Jr. That'll oh, be boy. a ground out, but that'll move the runners into second and third. Bringing up Salmon Arms. And they intentionally walk him. Interesting. Bringing up the 0 for 6 touch Denstro, who's going to hit a fly ball to right oh field and caught. We head to inning number 15. Top half of the uh, 15th in game four. Uh, not much to say other than that. Game. Yeah, elimination game. Marcellus Clay is going to start this top half of the 15th with a ground ball to the shortstop. It's one out. John Garfield up now. Garfield's going to hit one in the center field, and that's a quick second out. These bullpens are going to get destroyed. Zodiac Blue Sky is going to strike out, and we have a 1-2-3 inning. We go to the bottom half of the 15th. Oh, boy. Riabi's still in the game. Martha Morgan's up, and he hits a ground ball over to first. Throw it over to the pitcher covering for a little PFP first out. Danny Brennan. Will strike out, swinging on the one-two pitch, bringing up the shortstop, Gladdy Verrero. So you have a little bit of Gladdy magic here. 2-0 count. This is where you want to see him swing away. Oh, my God. And he grabs out to the second baseman. We head to inning number 16. Three more innings, and we've gone through two We can barely innings. see when that last run was scored. Back in the eighth, and that's another run scored in the top of the 16th. Care Bear, Bear. leadoff home run, 368 feet. The Dillos take a 10-9 lead in the 16th inning. They are on top 3-0 in the series. They are on top in game 4, 10-9. It's going to be Alvarez who gets a hit right after that home run. So we got one on, still no outs. It's going to be Super Gremlin. I'm lightheaded right now. This is insane. It's going to be throw to second. No, throw to first. They can't turn the double play. Dinamite up now. It's going to be to second. And they don't turn the double play again. It's going to be another fielder's choice. Dinamite on first. And Salamaka is going to strike out. But the Dillos have a lead in the 16th inning. We go to the bottom half. Can California save their season? Oh, my. All right. Long ball's up. Bottom of the 16th. And there's a line out to the first baseman, Ren Foster, 0-2 count. And there's a base hit in the right field. <laughs> there's a little bit of life here for the California offense, bringing up French Fry, 2-0 count. Oh, there's my God. There's a base hit up the middle. Oh, my God, are they going to score? Ren Foster doesn't go over to third, but we have runners at first and second here for Dan King Jr. 
Oh and my! A base hit, extra base hit. This this could walk it off. They send the runner. We have a. Walk oh my God! You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> oh my! Dan King Jr. Off. <laughs> Do they call it a triple? No, they called it a double. Walk off double. A free hobby. Oh my god, we played almost two full games. Both offenses uh, did absolutely nothing for seven innings, and then they both decided to show up in the 16th inning. Dillo scoring one, Firehawks coming up big. I am really scared to look at this left on base total for the Dillos, but we're going to do it. It is 37 runners left on base. Oh. Eight. From oh. Tina Mite that came eight runners left on base. <laughs> and even California had 18, which is a lot, but 37 runners left on base. Obviously, That's twice the, as many. Yeah. It's over twice huge, as many. Huge, huge game from Blue Sky going five for seven with two RBIs. And I'm not even really going to go over the offenses a crazy amount because there was a ton. Just whenever anyone was on base and in scoring position, nobody could do anything. Uh, we got four hits there from Foster as well. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, wow. This, <laughs> I mean, nine at bats from Dinamite in the leadoff spot. That's insane. Uh, I'm three hit only three hits though. She yeah, pretty uh, much just went one for three. So the number one thing that the GMs do not want to look at is this pitching. However, mm. uh, Riabi's going to take the loss here, and the bullpens are going to be absolutely gassed. Uh, Biglet is going to get the blown save. White gets the W here going those two innings and giving up that one run. Uh, Ren Foster is your player of the game. A lot of special notes here. Zodiac Blue Sky ties the minor league playoff extra inning game record for hits with five and sets the playoff extra get, extra inning game record for at-bats with eight. Sets the playoff extra inning game record for at-bats with nine and sets the Minor league playoff extra inning game record with strikeouts for five is Hector Salamanca. <laughs> no. That's not what you want. French Fry no. sets the California playoff extra inning game record for at bats with eight. So a lot uh -huh. of things going on there. Um, quite the game. Don't really have any words for it. I'm going to make sure I save after that because that was. We had plenty of words during the game. <laughs> plenty of words and no words at the same time. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over to OBS here, pull up the series, and California does not get swept. They hang on in game four to Phew. make the series three to one. Hey, uh, look, and you win channel points. I Yeah, I won channel points. Wow. I, hey, yep, I'm colluding. Blade. Absolutely yep. colluding. <laughs> uh, all right. So we are going to finish today. And I assume we'll have some stamina checks. Uh, we do already have some changes from the Firehawks, but I will go ahead and give them their stamina check. So HR Hypocrites is absolutely gone. Lebowski is good to go for game five. And Aaron Silence is still pretty exhausted. 26. Moving on to the bullpen here. We got Johnny Whiplash at 36. Girk Biglet at 33. Tahini Lord is at 48. Nastier Nestor is back up to 96. Matthew West is down at 31. Tyrone White up to 76. John Marston is at 18%. Absolutely gassed. Magic Joe Lee up to 96. Jose Nacio, I don't believe, has pitched in this series at all. Brian Wilson, we want, same thing. We want to see Hosanas. Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> same thing. And same thing. All right. So we got a couple of changes here. Uh, Denstro to sixth in the lineup, I believe. Denstro. Mm -hmm. Well, Denstro is. For both sides? Yeah. I think Denstro Do you mean versus left-handed? Oh, for, okay, for left-handed. Left yep. Okay, so Denstro to 6th, Morgan to 7th, Brennan look to 4th, Brennan to 4th, and 
Row to fifth. Is that, is that Gucci? I'd be a little bit behind, but I'll do the pitching stuff while you wait for that. Lebowski pitch count to 100. We'll go ahead and do that. Let's make sure I got it. So, Brennan to fourth, Row to fifth. Dense Joe to 6th, and Morgan to 7th. Perfect. Uh, we'll look at the Dillos now. We would like to start Casey Mize. Ignore his 800 <laughs> TP. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, move Rabi to starting pitcher 1. Just pitch that game. Uh, he. Yeah, I'm not sure you want to do that. I mean, I will. No, but I, hey, you know what they said too, so do it. Uh, I mean, I get no. I guess starting pitcher one, he would pitch later in the series. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So we'll take Guru and Voodoo out, and uh, Voodoo to bullpen, none specified, is all good. Perfect. So that's done. So Riabi won't pitch. I I believe that's what they're going for. They don't want him in the game at all. Gotcha. Uh, good. And good. Just making sure. Uh, all right. We do we have a prediction up? Uh, we do not. Could be over under on how many extra innings we have. Stop. We are t the amount of base. I think we've already gone seven games worth. Like it, it feels like that. See, we went. 12 in games one and two so that's already uh, okay lumo wants to check the bullpen real quick and we'll make sure that gets done yeah they didn't catch it so marston is set to that middle relief and oh less often less often boom okay that's done and not team home. We go to the ball game. Perfect. So Dillos are good. Firehawks are good. Dak is typing, which is making me nervous because I don't want <laughs> I don't want to move on if he has. What were you saying? Shouldn't do that. I switch. Oh, just because of the stamina. Played about five and a half games already. Five and a half games in four. Love to see it. Awesome. All right. We are all good. So we're going to go on to game five. We have our prediction, and it's simply just extras? <laughs> oh, God. The mod team hates us. <laughs> Please don't. But if you want to be my bookie again, can you throw some points on yes? No, I'm not. I, I can't collude this game. I obviously okay. colluded it last game because the Firehawks won when I bet on them. I'm now Pete Rose, so. At least you bet for the team, though. You know, I'm like you were betting against the Dillos. That's true. <laughs> it's sad because my first ever team in this league was the Dillos, so that's that's why I'm. Maybe you were betting against your team. Yeah, that's what it is. You're worse than Pete Rose. <laughs> Uh, all right, so back on the mound here for the Dillos, we've got Tyler Rogalski, and we got Jeffrey Lebowski. We got the, oh, the Battle skis. of the Skis again. Uh, round two. <laughs> Power Fight. equals casual. Thank you. Thank you, Jackers. Uh, predictions <clears throat> are closed. So this is going to be our final game of the series in California. California trying to stay alive the Dillos do indeed have that 3-1 to one series lead, and California's trying to make it a reverse sweep. Wouldn't that be something? Ooh, Anyways, boy. we head into Game 5. Here we Wouldn't go. the first time California's done that in postseason. It's That is very true. They do that a lot, actually. <laughs> they very much do. Uh, Dean Rite <laughs> is going to lead it off here for the Dillos, seeing if we can get that offense for the Dillos going. And just like that, they already have a hit on the board. That'll bring up Collusion. Hector Salamanca, and that's going to be to shortstop, but he can't handle the ball. Everyone is safe, and we have our first. I guess that's a hit. Uh, that should have been an error. Uh, Lalo Salamanco, Salamanca is going to fly out to right field. Salamanco. 
Uh, Marcellus over. Clay is going to ground out to the first baseman. He oh can't handle it. Again? So we got bases loaded. One out. John Garfield. That's the third base. Throw to second. Throw to first. And it's oh. a double play. You bases loaded it. and the Firehawks get out of it. You love to see it. All right. French Fry is going to get us going here with a strikeout. <laughs> All right. One out. In the strikeout. bottom of the first inning, King Jr. is oh! going to hit fly ball left field, and that is gone. <laughs> and this game is once again in the favor of California early. That leadoff home run from Dan King Jr., 384 feet. Some might say a wall scraper, but it's just enough. Bringing up Sam and Arms, who it's a fly ball center field, and it's over the center fielder's head, and that should be extra bases, and he will get, he'll stand on second with that double, and it'll bring up the four hole. Now, four hole, Danny Brennan is going to hit the ground ball over to first, and that'll be the second out of the inning. That'll bring up Gladdy Verrero, who works the four pitch walk, bringing up the catcher, Tunch Denstro. 2 2 count, and oh it's my. the wild pitch of doom. Making it a 2 0 ball game. <laughs> Runner does go to second from first, and it'll be full count, two outs. Tunch Denstro strikes out. And that will end the inning, but California does get ahead early with that two run inning. We head to the top of the second. All right, here we go. Zodiac Blue Sky had that huge game last game and is going to start this game off with a strikeout. It's going to be Care Bear up now, seeming to be the hero in the series at points for the Dillos. He's going to get a one-out walk. Can bring up Cali Alvarez. His Care Bear takes off for second end. Right as I say, he's the hero. He's the villain. He gets thrown out at second. And that's costly as Alvarez hits one in the right field for a single. Now it's two outs, one on. J.D. Martinez. that's the second throw. Or that's the shortstop throw to second. And that will be that third positions out. Positions are hard. Yeah, positions are hard. It's been a long day already. Yes, it has. <laughs> Two one count. Arthur Morgan leading us off here in the bottom of the second with a single up the middle, top of the Morgan to you. Long no. ball here with a three one count. No, no, no. I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> Long ball is going to take the walk first at second, and that'll be a base hit up the middle for Ren Foster, and that oh boy, just load the bases for French Fry. And there is a oh, no. base hit through the hole. And they'll score two on the RBI single from French Fry, making it a four to nothing ball game here in the second inning. Dan King Jr. first pitch of the AB hits a fly ball deep to center field, and it's caught at the warning track. They'll put runners at the corners. One out. Salmon or er, Fry takes off into safe. Steal second. Salmon Arms will take the walk, loading the bases yet again for the four hole. Danny Brennan, one two count. He will strike out. They'll bring up Verrero, the five hole. So we have bases loaded, full count, two outs. And there's a ground ball to the first baseman, and he will take it himself to the bag to end the inning. California with another two spot here is up on Amarillo, four to nothing as we head to the top of the third. I would say the Firehawks are in a good spot, but literally no lead is safe apparently in the minor leagues, no, so I'm not, not going to say anything. Dinamite is going to hit one in the left field for a single, and just yep. like that, Hector Salamanca <laughs> into deep left center field. 432 feet. The collusion comments are coming back. It's going to be a 2-4 to four ball game here in the top half of the third. Um, <laughs> Hector Salamanca. Lalo Salamanca no. now. And that's in the left field. That's going to get down for a single. I'm sorry, Lumo. I love you. Uh, Marcellus Clay up now as uh, Lalo is going to be safe at second. So now in scoring position for Marcellus Clay. And that's in the center field. Pretty shallow. And that'll be the second out. Or no, first out. John Garfield now. That's deep to oh right my. field. And we have a tie ball game yet again. It's 383 <laughs> feet off the bat of John Garfield. And it's it's 4-4. Four to four. Get again. These teams just have to be tied at all times, apparently. Uh, Zodiac Blue Sky is going to ground out to third base. I'm so sorry, Lumo. Uh, Care Bear. <laughs> Care Bear is going to ground out to the shortstop, but it doesn't matter. Two two run shots by the Dillos means it's a tie game, four to four. We go bottom three. Bauer, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what button are you hitting? <laughs> I don't know. Tunch Tunch is going to get a walk here. 
start us off. And then a fly ball into left field for Morgan will be the first out of the inning, bringing up a long ball. And on the first pitch, he lines one in the center field for a base hit. They don't send Dentro to third, so Flinders first and second. Ren Foster hits a ground ball. Short, Oh, second, turn it. Not the first, and they don't turn it. And that'll come back oh to bite God. them as they score an RBI single from French Fry. Runners at first and second here for the third baseman, Dan King Jr. Full count, two outs, runners at first and second, and he works the walk. So bases loaded again for Salmon Arms. And he hits a ground ball to third base, and he oh! will be safe. Infield single with the bases loaded makes it 6-4. to four. Danny Brennan will strike out to finally end the inning. But California with three straight two spots. To put them up six to four, and we head to the top of the fourth. Now I just have to collude two runs for the oh Dillos, and there's God. one of them. It's Callie Alvarez with a deep shot to left center field. It's 409 feet, and it's five to six now. What is going on? I can't, you, can't, you can't make this up, folks. Uh, JD Martinez is going to ground out to the shortstop. Now, Dean Amite is going to ground up the middle, and that's going to be their third hit of the ball game already. I believe it's three singles. Good Lord. Hector Salamanca up now, and that's right past the first baseman into right His field. Dean Amite over to third is going to be safe. So runners on the corners now for Lelo Salamanca, and that's deep to center field. Oh, it should no. be deep enough to score the run at least, and it is. And we have a tie <laughs> game yet again. It is six to six. All right, so we still have that runner on first base, and Marcellus Clay is up with two outs. Make it three after he strikes out. And we, six to six ball game here. We go to the here bottom of the fourth. All right, bottom of the fourth we go. Gladdy Barrero, 0-2 count, strikes out looking on that. I guess that's a screwball at 72 miles an hour. Looked at it for strike three, bringing up Tunch Denstro, the cold hitting catcher for California. Hits a fly ball. Into deep center field, and that'll be caught at the warning track for out number two. Bringing up Arthur Morgan, 0-2 count, and he strikes out looking as well. Not not the most impressive of playoff appearances for Arthur Morgan this, this postseason, but we head to the top of the fifth, still tied. All right, let's see if I can collude a little bit more. John, John Garfield is going to ground out to the third baseman. I'll bring up hot hitter Zodiac Blue Sky. Still hitless in this game and make it still hitless as well. 0 for 3 for the second out. Ooh. Now it's going to be Care Bear up. Care Bear is going to ground out to the second baseman. And we have a 1-2-3 inning for the Dillos. It is still tied 6-6. All right, bottom of the fifth. Eight hole to lead us off. Long ball will strike out swinging on the sinker. Bringing up the nine hole DH Ren Foster. As they finish throwing around the baseball, 3-0 count to the nine hole, and Akia Blahaj was has apparently entered the game earlier, and he will walk Foster, bringing up French Fry. It's a double, at least a double to the right field wall, and that should be extra bases. Well, oh, duh, it's a double. <laughs> it doubles at least extra bases. God, it's, words are hard, man. Oh boy. Dan King works the walk, so bases loaded. Four salmon arms, yet again, full count, bases loaded. There's a ground oh! ball, they throw home, and they don't throw to first, so they do get the out at home. No run scored, bringing up Danny Brennan. Oh, my There's God. There's a fly ball caught for the third <laughs> out, so another three base runners left of the California offense, and we head to the sixth inning, tied at six. This is going to 16 again. Uh, Cali Alvarez is up now. And that's going to be to the second baseman. Throw to first. Pretty easy out there for the first one. J.D. Martinez, and that's right over the shortstop's head. Getting there, I believe, second hit of the playoffs. Right when you need it here in game five. Dinamite yeah. to center field. And that is going to be a fly out for the second out. Hector Salamanca up now as Martinez takes off for second and is thrown <laughs> out. Trying to steal second. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that. And no. we'll go to the bottom half of the sixth. Uh, Denstro's thrown out a lot of runners this series, so I don't know why they keep testing him. Verrero's going to pop out to the catcher for the first out of the bottom of the sixth, bringing up Tunch Denstro. Fly ball, left field, caught for the second out of the inning. Bringing up Arthur Morgan, 2-2 two, two count, two outs. Hits a fly ball, 
into deep center field, but that won't get be deep enough. That'll be the third out of the inning. We head to the top of the seventh, still tied at six. This is torture. Who is going to break the <laughs> tie? Please, someone take a lead. Hector Salamanca up now as Nastier Nestor stru- comes in and strikes him out immediately. Now it's going to be Lalo Salamanca. Lalo's going to hit one to the first baseman. A little PFP action, but the pitcher doesn't get any action. First baseman oh. takes it himself. Marcellus Clay up now. Clay's going to hit one up the middle, and that drops down right in shallow center field. That'll bring up John Garfield, the second baseman. And that's deep to left center field. Oh, no. Back at the track and caught right in front of the warning track. A loud third out to strand that runner. We're still tied. That animation looked like it was going to go. Yes. So it's stretch time. And after this pitch, it is no longer stretch time as there's a leadoff single from long ball to get us going here in the bottom of the seventh. Ren Foster, 2-2 count. Will strike out swinging on the screw ball. Bringing up the top of the order in French fry. 1-1 one, one count here with long ball at first. Trungle, Trungle man enters the game. I really hope I said that right. But French fry will pop out to the first baseman. Dan King Jr. up at the plate now. Will pop out to the shortstop all the way in shallow left field. Still tied. 12 hits for the Dillos. 10 hits for the Firehawks. We head to the last two innings of regulation. All right, it's going to be Zodiac Blue Sky who leads us off with a single into center field. And Bear's going to hit one into right field for uh, another single. And Blue Sky is going to go all the way over to third. Runners on corners, no outs. Cali Alvarez, that's the third baseman. Oh. He can't get it. And everyone is safe here. It's going to bring a run to home. What? It's going to bring two what? home. Bear comes it's all cool. the way from first base. Alvarez with two RBIs here to give them the lead. Eight to six, top of the eighth. Offense possibly not over here. J.D. Martinez to center field. That's going to be an out. and Runner t- doesn't tag and go to third. So Dinamite is up with that runner on second still. It's going to be a one-out walk. Runners on first and sec- second now here for Hector Salamanca. Salamanca is going to strike out. And now we got Salamanca times two. And Salamanca is going to ground out to the second baseman. Close play, but it doesn't matter. The Dillos have taken the lead. Bottom half of the eighth we go. All right. Let's see what California can do here. Six outs to work with Salmon Arms. One, two count. We'll strike out from – we'll be struck out by Trungle Man. We'll bring up the four hole. Danny Brennan, 3-0 count for the four hole. Looks to be a walk, and it will be. That'll bring up the five-hole Gladdy Verrero. 14 RBIs this postseason, but that'll be the inning-ending double play, not oh, what the no. Firehawks needed. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we head to the top of the ninth. Top of the ninth. Last chance for some insurance here, possibly from the Dillos. It's going to be Marcellus Clay lining out to the second baseman. Now up John Garfield. It's going to take a walk. That'll bring up hot hitters at Zodiac Blue Sky. But I think Garfield got thrown out at first. So now we have two out. And Zodiac Blue Sky is going to hit one deep to left center field. And the left Ooh. fielder will catch that one. And we have another last chance for the Firehawks to save their season. Two to tie. Three to win. Touched in stroke, Full count. Bottom of the ninth. And he'll take the walk. And this is exactly what the Firehawks need to get going. We'll bring up Arthur Morgan, 2-0 count. It's a fly ball right field, but that'll be caught for the first out of the inning. Dentro will tag and then not go. Bring up long ball, 2-1 count. There's a pop out to the first baseman. Two outs, the last out remaining for the Firehawks. Ren Foster's up, and that'll be a ground ball. And, oh, and the Dillos win. The Dillos are your S35 minor league World Series champions. Oh my goodness, what a series. series. What a series. I mean, I know it seemed to be a dominant series by the Dillos, but every game was so close. Back and forth. So, so close. I mean, even just in this game, you can see the graph up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And yep. that was every game. I mean, we had a 16 inning game where neither neither team could score. The first two games went 12 innings. Uh, so the Firehawks should not be sad about this series at all. Uh, you guys put up a really, really good fight. And let me tell you, as my first World Series calling anything, I don't think you could do fun. much better than that. No, that and was I, fun. That yeah, was I'm sure you entertainment will not disagree. At its uh, all right, we will go through this final box score here. The Dillos do win the World Series. Before I do anything, 
I will change that to Dillo's four and California one. If either Dillo's GM does want to hop on stream here for a little bit and talk about their team, or if uh, the Firehawks GMs want to talk about their team as well. You both had great seasons, but I will go through this box score real quick. Uh, we've got uh, three hits there from the two top hitters in uh, from the Dillos. Three hits there from Alvarez with those three RBIs as well. California, uh, French Fry having three hits from that leadoff spot. The pitching here, man, is going to get the W here. Uh, both starting pitchers having a bit of rough outings. Uh, Nastier Nestor, unfortunately, is going to take the loss here in this game five. And Cali Al Alvarez is your player of the game. Uh, what we are going to do here now as well, go to playoff coverage. Your playoff series MVP is catcher Zodiac Blue Sky of the armadillos so congrats to zodiac blue sky you absolutely killed it you had that one game where what five hits six hits something yeah, like that cannot do much not better to mention than the home runs yeah dude, there's so just many the home one runs. actually you just had the one but it was clutch it, <laughs> 500 this series uh okay so we are going to go ahead and save and then, uh, Dak, I see you are in chat. If you do want to unmute, say anything about your team, you can do so at this time. Yes, I know he's been a bit busy. <laughs> he can hear us in his shop. Yeah, in his shop. There we go. There you go. There we go. <laughs> How you feeling, man? Hey. Oh, feeling great. Uh, good season to Lumo and Aaron Silence and the Firehawks. Uh, much much happier beating the Firehawks than the Ranas. They're the powerhouse of the miners of the past couple years. And uh, I just wanted to tell Bauer and Scud. I told you guys <laughs> I was in my shop. I wasn't able to uh, wasn't able to watch, but I threw you guys up on the uh, the soundboard and and the stereo. And my wife walked in and thought I was listening to the Mariners game. You guys sound great and. <laughs> That was that was so much fun to listen to. You guys made it great. Uh, it was a ton of fun calling it, man. I'm I'm glad you had uh and you enjoyed it. Uh, I like I said, I'm, I'm I was shaking some of the games, like just everything going on. It could not get any crazier. Uh, Lumo, I see you are <laughs> yes. here as well. Hi. Uh, well, how are you feeling? Um, it sucks, obviously, but yeah. uh, first of all, congrats. Um, yeah, I'm just. I'm probably annoyed because I wish more of the games were not in extras, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. That's like the main thing I'm annoyed by. <laughs> like I said to myself before the runner series, I thought, oh, just in general, any playoff series that I'm fine with losing. That happens. But can it please be like a 6-2 game where we use like two relief pitchers? <laughs> like save me having to think about the bullpen, please. But anyway, it's okay. Like that. <sighs> uh, yeah. I, yeah. Anyway, it's okay. But um, yeah, I knew the Dillos would be tough. Um, it was a really good series, no matter what. You guys should both be proud of what happened there. Yeah. Uh, I am just checking to make sure because I have to move before I. Uh... There we go. Okay, so now <laughs> the awards pop up, so I can just move all of these to November, because otherwise the Miners <laughs> awards will be picked by the game, and we won't be able to change them. Hmm. Yeah, that would be <laughs> bad. <laughs> so move all of these to November. Boom. <laughs> Boom. But yeah, I, I'm obviously excited that we got to this point. I mean, no regrets. Oh yeah, um, don't change off season. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad. Um, <laughs> we could play the whole major sports series right now, but LBG would not be happy. So that obviously. goes back to October. That can uh. stay. I have to say, that is probably the most entertaining series I've ever seen, so I'm happy about that part, at least. Yeah, I'm happy, <laughs> I was happy to call it. I just wish yeah. it would have went in favor. Obviously, I'm biased, so... Yeah. Okay, so that's... <sighs> I'm... Yeah, this one's to get hey. yeah. Most player. I just so... thought it'd be closer, but it's okay. Denver. I mean... It, I okay. mean, it kind of was close. So... All yeah, the well... scores were close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I was thinking throughout... This reminds me of the 2005 World Series. Go ahead and save that, oh. and we are going to get this The closest sweep in going. history. So. so I can feel better about that, I guess. <laughs> Does that mean we win in 12 years, maybe? 
That's there a long you go. time. I don't want that. <laughs> oh, you Astros fan talking yes. about World Series. Yeah, I know. A novel Gross. concept, right? Gross. That's a shocking ton of events. <laughs> oh, did I not save it? You're, what? You're an Astros fan, Lumo? Yes. Oh, well, I mean... I'm a diehard, lifelong oh, Mariners fan, so at least you got that over me today. Yes. Yeah, I like the Mariners. I do feel bad for them. Um, obviously not bad enough to be happy about what's happening, but that of course, yeah. is going to happen. So. <laughs> <laughs> rough series. Holy smokes. All right. I think I have everything good now. If Okay, cool. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Now right, I can get it going. All right. Let gonna... me just say uh, thanks to thanks to all the Dillos uh, working hard. We uh, we had a good year. I, I feel like last year was a little more fun. We were a lot more active and um, you know uh, chatty in our in our locker room. But we had lots of guys in there this year and and uh, happy for Zodiac. We picked him up at the end of week two and uh, decided to go with a platoon player, and he ended up coming on strong and and had Mr. October. Whoa, 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 series, wait. So. Zodiac was a waiver pickup? Oh, yeah. That's... Are you kidding me? Nope. <laughs> what? Oh, my. Yeah. What an oh, entrance to the league. It. To, to make it better, I passed on about four or five guys and Jackers was losing his mind because we needed another bullpen arm and I kept passing and kept passing. And finally, for some reason, I said, all right, let's get someone. And Zodiac popped up and won us the World Series. That is, I mean, <laughs> I guess you can't ask for a better pickup there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. I thought yeah, I thought Zodiac was like maxed out with the way he was hitting. I was chatting with him this morning. He I don't think he hit very good in the uh, in the Bears series, and he uh, messaged me reminding me to pay him his uh, prorated salary. I said, "Oh, are you holding off from hitting until I pay you?" So I'm glad I paid his contract this morning too. <laughs> well, well worth it. If you didn't pay him, then there would would have been no hitting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, was the most shocking thing to me. I was like, good for him. I mean, I'm not saying this to be salty, but I'm just more surprised by that that happened. I was like, really? This guy? It's the miners. Is I thought to be. In, no, no. It's it's crazy, though. Like, literally 100 TPIA players can just go off for absolutely no reason. Yeah. And then completely max and capped out players won't be able to hit for any reason. It's oh, just... yeah. I mean, Morgan oh, going it... X4. I was like, what are you that's why I had to move the lineup. I'm like, I don't want to see this anymore. Sorry, 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 shoe. But and I was like, I need to. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Sad. I couldn't stand seeing him strike out and pop up all the time. So yeah, I feel that. Uh... Uh, well, moving on though, how are both of your teams going on into next season? <sighs> oh boy, uh... <laughs> not good. We're finally screwed. Okay. Yeah, i I was thinking this is the last step. Until I mean, I'm obviously gonna do my best to not be so bad, but also, yeah, it's gonna be rough. Um, hopefully, not too rough. So, Major this is like a last team. dance for both yeah. of your teams here. Yeah, Major GMs, please don't call up our players. <laughs> <laughs> I know that won't work. Please but. leave us alone. Oh, oh. Yeah, I think I think most that, of my that, guys that are going on their <laughs> third, fourth, fifth year. Oh. Third, fourth, fifth season, so they're about ready to get called up, anyways. So we're oh, yeah. gonna be losing a bunch of guys. Yeah, I we're gonna do, be same here. Um, That's always no the worst part about being a minors GM is you build all those bonds, you have all those great players, great locker room, and then within a couple seasons, it's like, well, that's gone. They're gone. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I think a... I think now now's the perfect time to kind of revamp. We. Uh, we got a little quiet this season and and uh, weren't as active as last year. So getting a new group of rookies in there is going to be pretty fun and we'll get it livened up again. Unfortunately, you have the last pick now. 
So <laughs> nah. I think they I think they had the last pick. I think I don't, I don't yeah. know if it's off of the World Series, but oh yeah, just regular season standings. But yeah. they oh, had yeah. the last by, pick. So. by tradition, some... that'll probably go to Florida for their uh, <laughs> two second rounders. If they well, <laughs> that's I fair. should probably check that out, but that's for later. All right, what we should that? be almost done here. Come on, <gasps> TP. Oh, uh, in memory news, Charlie Morton just left the game because of a hit, got hit in the right elbow. Oh, like oh, uh, yeah. like a hit came back at him? I think, yeah. Oof. Dude, playoff yeah. Morton never has any luck. Yeah. Oh, tell me about it. Uh, It was one good year, and then he felt a crap, crap so. relatively speaking. Uh, well, he played like crap for the right team to play like crap for. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, depending on what you're referring to. The Astros. <laughs> okay, I was thinking the Braves, but <laughs> oh no, no, that no, one no. game. Well, no, wait, no, he actually did good that game. Never mind. Yeah, he did good or... that game, and then he just couldn't pitch the rest yeah. of the series because of. But that was sad to you know, see. It worked like... out. It was, but yeah. it was also poetic justice that <laughs> the Braves won the World Series that year. So uh, that was it, fun it, to watch the Braves win. Yeah, I don't think. But... No, I'm kidding. It's okay. <laughs> Me, DG, and Phillies fans are kidding. over here rooting for the yeah. Phillies right now. Though. As a neutral, it was great. As a Astros fan, it sucked. So. I uh, yeah, I'm I'm team uh, Phillies at the moment because oh uh, same. They've got Kyle Schwarber, and as a Cubs fan, I love Schwarber. Oh, so Schwarber's I'm a Harper cool. fan. So I mean, yeah. if they oh. clinch today, I'm wearing my Harper jersey for the rest there of the go. day. It is three to one oh. Phillies right now. So I good know. job, Phillies fans. Perfect. So all right, uh, that is was done. number one on my list for left fielders. Mariners need to get this offseason. Nice. Oh, well, we got Winker. Ooh, yeah. Winker, yeah. <laughs> Winker should have done better. It's strange how much he fell off. but He was a Cincinnati Red. He should have never played well to begin with. <laughs> Sad. Uh, all right, I have clicked the magic Hello. button. It is a matter of time until the index is up. Bring that up. I have to say, I'm happy that this is the last lineup, so I have to set for like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> at least serious lineups. It was always like, nice to get a make... break from that. Yeah, at least not like lineups where I put like Arthur Morgan at like right field or something stupid like that. All right, I'm that joking. will do it. Index is fully uploaded again. Congratulations to the Dillos. One hell of a series. Uh, any final words from you guys? <laughs> I'm glad it's over. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm ready for the off season. Uh, thanks again for streaming. That was fun to listen to. You guys made it a lot more entertaining than it uh, than it needed to be. And I oh, trust it. me, the the yeah. game did it for us. We were just yeah, no, we're just... we were just in the passenger seat. <laughs> we are slaves to the sin gods. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> to end the stream, JT just hit it inside the park home run. So. Perfect. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, I want to thank you, Scud, again for uh, hopping oh, on the stream with me. This was uh, really fun. We should do this again sometime. Yeah, next next Minecraft Make it a series. second date. Yeah. <laughs> all right, yep. sounds good. Thank you all for <laughs> watching. And LBG will be on later at 6 Eastern to host the Majors World Series. Boise and Detroit are facing off there. That should be a good it, series. So we DRJ will catch you all then. Co-host.